and welcome to Lawhammer. I am delighted because I don't feel a little bit like I've been punched in the face and punched in other places this week. So um, I, I'm a relatively normal Andy, not quite perfect, <laughs> fine Andy, but relatively normal. Andy. So yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hi, Andy. So um, uh, we have a couple of things that we're going to start off with. Uh, number one, this episode uh, takes place after all of our Tales of Uber's Right. Now, all the Tales of Uber's Right aren't up yet. For those of you out there who don't know who quite how it works live, uh, we send up the Tales of Uber's Right to our all access backers first. And then by next Friday, when we're having our week off next Friday, we will post them all up so that everybody can watch them next Friday. So that means the start of this episode, much like the episode after the Tales of Altdor City, might be a little bit, oh my god, I saw this, oh I saw this, I did this, you did what? Mm -hmm. Birdie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, perhaps less said about that, the better. Also, before we begin... XP, XP, XP! XP. <laughs> okay, so uh, XP <laughs> this week is based upon the rather odd story last week where... If Lucas could thrill, Master. Um, <coughs> Lucas took everybody through an adventure, and we're just going to knock that down to a flat 100. Nice. Because it was hey. most certainly an experience. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, everybody had their own tales of Uber's Reich as well. Loosely speaking, there was some pretty impressive nonsense going on in that mixture of things. Um, we were just having a little chat uh, behind the scenes before we began about one of the characters that popped up in one, at least two of them. And they were going, was that, was that, was that Rudy Klumpenkrug from the starter set? Yes, it was. So watch out for that in the Tales of Uber Strike. Particularly impressive for us because the artist of the good old Rudy is hiding in our production corner. Ooh. Hiding over there. Should have remained there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, don't worry if you've not watched any of the Tales of Uber's Reich. They are always, much like all of our Tales episodes, aside. So we can just go plugging on with the main story as we go. So, other than that, let's get our XP out for the Tales. Mm. Um, I'm going to be equally generous in this one and not go, well, you did this, but you didn't do that. And, you know, we're just going to make it a nice blanket. 125, because there was some important shit that came out in that. Because, obviously, we can't have XP without swearing at least a little bit. We are Scottish. Well, at least I am. <laughs> uh, you might also notice that we have had a little bit of an initiative shift. Poor old Gerhardt has been dropped down to the low initiative cam. Um, and on high initiative cam, Andy has joined. It appears that having greater insight as an auger really helps on the whole initiative side. Uh, so... And I'm, I'm gunning for Bertie. <laughs> Bertie's <laughs> oh, <laughs> See, this side, it's all about animosity. We're just the cool side. <laughs> yeah, whatever, just man. Just chilling. Yeah, like a sloth. Yeah. <laughs> Taking your Get time. the job done, but yeah. eventually. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see. <Yeah. laughs> Unless they get slaughtered by the hair, but that's a, it's a different story. So, <laughs> without any further ado, <laughs> let us begin episode... Actually, episode 10 plus all of our 14 aside Otherwise. stories mean we're actually on episode 24. Just like to say that, just, just before wow. we move on. That's 24 episodes so far. Um, episode 10. The River Teufel, at its peak, is blood red, but at this season it's more of a murky orange with red tinges here and there. A barge, as yet unnamed, as yet unregistered, definitely salvage and 100% not stolen, houses our glorious adventures, who have often been, well, adventuring. I think the first to arrive back was Elric. 
He was the first, in fact, to be sitting in the barge waiting for over a week before anybody else returned. <laughs> Everybody else was somewhat busy. Not the whole time. He, he filled his day, but... <laughs> Drinking, waiting, yeah. chatting up people. Past that, I think it was Yumi who arrives next. That says something, Yumi, considering all the yeah. rest. Not long after Yumi, um, almost a week after you've um, returned to the barge, will be... Birdie, who comes in next. After Birdie... Is Alamenawith. Then after Alamenawith, it's Gerhardt. Then finally, Leopold and I were after that. So let's go through each of them and see whether any of them are walking of shame this time. <laughs> let's start <laughs> off with good old Elric. Elric, I don't believe that you're walking of shame or indeed appearing any different at all, are you? I think physically, no. Demeanor wise, he's a lot calmer. Hmm. Elric looks calm again. <laughs> So next on our arrivals, as he's just milling around the barge, speaking to Blutthilda, uh, popping out for the day, having a wee drink, popping yeah. on back he's got again. Got to see now. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Mm-hmm. Got friends to go and visit. Yeah, he's got oh. a That's lovely. To ditch you guys for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, you may. When do you arrive, and how do you appear? Um, I think. She, you may got used to wearing fancy clothes and things again, um, <laughs> and uh, she. She decides she wants to take one back with her and then realizes she's already carrying a very fluffy bag with a costume that you may or may not hear about. Um, (laughs) So she decides to just wear the other one. So um, if Elric is around, he will see you may show up in uh, the, you know, finest dress. (laughs) Flouncing in, dressed as a noble, her hair piled up high, you do not recognize her to begin with. But Tilda certainly doesn't. Think you're in the wrong place, love. But Tilda, how could you? We spent so much time together. <laughs> I didn't realise you were in costume. <laughs> <laughs> Past Jumi and arriving the next day, Birdie, anything that you would like to add to your description? Are you arriving at a towel? <laughs> no, no, I think, I think I'm wearing a, a, a very uh, tatty-looking prison frock. Mm. Uh, I think I do arrive in a carriage again. You do, though. Arrive in a carriage <laughs> yeah. because it's birdie standard. Yeah. But instead of coming out in a, a towel, it's um, very much a prison frock, yeah. as you put it. Uh, R- um, a parcel will have pre- pre-arrived for me, which has all my stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's looking quite thoughtful um, and quiet for her. But then that's not unusual. Pad, 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 and make your way into the barge. Um, next after that will be... Alamenowith. Alamenowith. Alamenowith will slip onto the barge as quietly as possible with a hood, right, so you can't see her face at all. She's just um, kind of slinking on. And we'll go straight down under, like, downstairs. Mm-hmm. She, She's quiet. <clears throat> The next to arrive in the boat is taken in by Alamenowith. A little bit more details on that one later, but it's a woman and a baby. We'll cover that one in a moment. <laughs> As we then move on to Gerhard. Hello. Hello. Right. <laughs> uh, probably, let's be fair, louder than everybody else <laughs> realistically coming in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lucas, if you would just hold that. Come on, we'll need, we'll need to get those I've in. got to get rid of the horses first, actually. So. Right, okay, well, just okay. unload them all there. And um, Dr. Flaster, <clears throat> if you can help me. Um, <clears throat> Flaster says, I'm sure we can get somebody on the boat to help us. Right, yes, very good, very good. Um, very good. Uh, she goes over and she says, we require some help for all the baggage. Perfect. But Tilda will Lots immediately pop stuff. up to um, go. There's stuff. Um, Lucas is dressed like a gentleman. Eye patch, shiny, pistol to his waist, Ooh. sword cane in his hand, looking with his dapper hat, extremely pleased <laughs> <laughs> as he pops his way along the uh, jetty. <clears throat> uh, uh, the, the, the bags are just uh, blood, Hilda. <clears throat> All right, perfect. He seems very happy indeed. Oh, no, I've got to go back and sell the horses. God damn it. As he turns around and starts making his way back the other way, then rubs at his side a little. There they are. <clears throat> Alamenowith will come come up and once Gerhardt's on the boat, come over to him. Yes. And and give him a hug. Oh, oh, right, and okay. And say, and like really quietly, I'm really sorry. I should have been more honest with you. 
Oh, um... I w- let's talk when everyone's back. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good idea, certainly. Um, what do you think? And then she'll whisper, <clears throat> she's here, by the way. Who is here? Uh, come downstairs, you'll see. You look, you look marvellous. Thank you, very good. That's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> the important stuff. <coughs> um, Dr. Flaster, still wearing white, not looking really much different to how she does bef- uh, did before, um, has a big doctor's bag which she uh, carries with her and hops onto the barge with and immediately pops on down where everything's curtained off because you don't have individual cabins or indeed anything else down there. Um, all it is is curtains and piles of wool um, in their bales that you stacked up to try and provide some form of privacy. The last to arrive will be the good father. Anything to know for yourself? Uh, Well, yeah, as as Leopold comes, just like fairly breezily, I think just striding down uh, the jetty (laughs) in full plate armour. Nice. Probably not the like, wisest thing to no. stroll around as a no, blind man. I don't think he fears. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take it off as soon as he gets on the boat. Yeah. But, yeah. Next to water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, he wants to make a bolt. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> yeah. from from worth yeah. every last minute. Yeah. Dizzy drags. <laughs> totally worth it. Um, you hop on the boat, uh, the barge, and uh, Blatilda um, has one piece of news, and then you can go do your thing. And Blatilda's news is. We got to go pretty much by tomorrow. So if you've got any other business, you need to do it now. We'll just lay that out as let's gather downstairs because we give you an opportunity <coughs> to share all of the information that you have recently found out. Hmm. Downstairs, everything's cur- curtained off. And indeed, there is um, a new addition down there, which the father will immediately hear. He can hear the soft breathing of a child, light, heavy heartbeat. Blah, 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 blah. And he can see the sp- a, a mother breastfeeding through that curtain over there. You think possibly what has happened to the bar since you were last <laughs> here? It has become a crash. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there a baby on board? What? Ella and my wife will poke her head out from behind there, probably. Mm-hmm. Yes, there <laughs> is a baby. <laughs> Is this? Is this? This is what I was talking about. Right. Whose baby? Wait, hang on. Gerhard? By, uh, <laughs> Ellen and wife, by the way, pulls her, has her hood down and she doesn't have her scarves on and she looks somewhat different. It's than worth she did stating before. that Ellen oh and wife always has her scarves on. And the fact she doesn't have her scarves on is. Emma, <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful. But it's worth oh. saying, though, she does have attractive three. Yeah, um, but she yeah. is not quite literally. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! She's an elf. <laughs> 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 Is the child human? Like, Albert would have seen the child come in, yeah. Yes. Um, it, Bundled um, up at that point, but yes. The mother and the child are under our protection, I believe. They they are um, fleeing for their lives. And right, hang on. Stride forward, put back curtain. There's, <laughs> she's got a half smile on her face. Hello. Okay, <laughs> all right. I did offer this. I know, and, and I, she... I accepted it. And she accepted it. Okay, well, you could have told me that you accepted it. I wasn't going to accept it at that point. I accepted it after. All right. Um, uh, right, I contemplated everything, and honestly, I think this is probably for the best. Fine. Um, You were right. Okay. I will then introduce you to everybody. As uh, she looks out. Oh, there's really an everybody. Yeah, no, there is. (laughs) Faces. Everybody, this is, well, um, my sister-in-law, Greta. Greta, Mm. well... Not Trot anymore, I suppose. Greta and Young Freud. Freud. Young Freud. Yes. And, and my stepdaughter. Oh, yes, and that. Um, not really. What? what? Well, you said it. You yourself. said it. Well, yes, but I was taking the piss at the time. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I apologise. I shouldn't be so rude to begin with. But, um, uh, delight to meet you all. Um, yes, and the little one is... Uh, well, is named... Sigismund Junior Junior? The even younger, as we like the, to say. Oh, do. the even younger. <laughs> uh, technically my brother's child. Well, I say technically. Actually not my brother's child. And to be direct, um, Castellibarung's child. So... So the, possibly your father's bastard's child. But the real Castellibarung, or...? You. you. No, 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 no. So, um... I there thought was, it was him. Yes, there was confusion. Right. Um, That's why I married his brother. 
Hey, our cool can, can you still close the curtain? <laughs> <laughs> Are we really the best place? Yes. To be? We're on Elric. We, we just are. nearly she got in, blown up. Yes, but she is in such danger. Her family are so much worse than... Look, it's a very long story why she would be considered my stepdaughter. But a very long time yes. ago, her father... His fate hung in the balance between... Um, Blood for blood's sake on one side, and blood for war's sake to come to the table on the other. And I made a decision to try to get the scales to balance this way. He was being courted by all sorts, the worst of the Norskins that you can imagine. I made an alliance with him. He calls it a marriage. I call it an alliance. But but, it is a marriage. She, I lived you in are married to for Zeneca. six months. It was a dark time in my life. All right. But as a result, he cannot be on the other side of a battle from me, nor I him. It was a gamble to make sure in the end times, one of the finest families of war in the empire were on the right side, not the wrong side. And and she is now, Absalom and your sister have no children. And no. This is the Duke of Tame's heir. And the last thing he asked me before I left him was to ensure his legacy. He cares deeply about that. She's missing the most important issue. The most important issue is that my family has some rather ancient rituals, which also relate to blood, unfortunately. Um, and it's a very simple ritual, and it simply determines whether the child is a trot. That's it. Very simple. But it also, at the same time, determines the lineage on the other side. Mm. A blood ritual that takes place up in the hills of Tay. There's a large stone there. It's been for over 2,000 years now that we've followed the same thing. The trots were a very, very bloody clan, tribe, whatever you want to call it, originally part of the Umberians. And they were quite convinced that because of all the death, because of all the lies, they could never be sure of the provenance of any particular child. So they determined it with blood. And because it's not a young Freud, because of mistakes that were made. Um, I thought it was a young Freud. That's why I married your brother. Yes, no, I understand. <coughs> Sorry, it's, uh, <coughs> it's still upsetting me, actually. Um, uh, was, was life it would not... be forfeit. Yes. And the babies. Yes. Um, so they will kill the child. There's no doubt my father would kill the child. And the marriage would come to an end, which means all of the trots would leave Black Rock. In fact, it's quite likely they might just attack. Mm -hmm. But begging your pardon, lady, but I don't know if we're the best people. To, do we have a plan? Will we drop you off somewhere safe? There is nowhere safe. Because I don't know if you've seen Lucas, but he hasn't travelled well with us. We Apparently got kidnapped. We are all here. Several times. And no, he's been kidnapped now. against. Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and more importantly... She'll be hidden from her enemies yes. as long as she's with Bellamy. My my wife, I, I do apologize for you all. I know I am difficult to, to be around. I am either too much or, or too cold. But my wife, who I absolutely adore, told me that I must tell you this. And oh, I've forgotten my train of thought. Wife? I, no, I am sorry for well. being difficult to live with. But. <laughs> I I do think she will be safer with us than anywhere else. My 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 wife is a, a condottora, a commander of one of Trot's Marauders regiments. Um, she has gone north. They are known to have a relationship, Greta and, and uh, the commander. So we have laid some seeds to suggest that Luchita, we've she left because of Absalom. Um, we have sown some seeds to make people think that Greta and the child have gone north with Luchita. It will buy us time until we can find, well, until we can get to safety. Anywhere, really. Anywhere. But I can't think of anywhere. So, um, well, I mean, I obviously extended whatever area of influence or power or whatever we have here as a collective and said you could join us if you wish. Admittedly, you did say no. Um, did. We also had other potential solutions, but um, said no to that, which, fair enough, I make, makes I, sense. I think it was the wisest choice. Yes. Um, 
I did not expect to see you here. I didn't think you would. No. <laughs> he says, <clears throat> I, would you like to hold the baby? I would, uh, I will... <laughs> No, I'm okay, thank you. You, I'll, may, I'll you may give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have raised a human child before, so... <laughs> we just call them child. It's... <laughs> but it is important to know elven children, they're not like this. Um, within a few oh. hours they are scrambling up trees. It's very different raising an elven child than a human one. Um, and... And, <laughs> and among, among elves, there are certain. Just terrifying. Like a vibe. It's coming from my mindful. So I will be able to look after the child when Greta is resting, sleeping, which she should do. She has had a, a difficult few months. Um, yes. No other way of putting that, is there? Mm. All right. Well, you can handle yourself, though. You, you've you done well been, during those months. <laughs> I can handle myself. Although I need a bit more rest, I'm still quite weak after giving birth. Wow, oh, so it's like very newborn. Two, two months yes. old. Oh, yeah. well, I, <clears throat> Elric, I would, I would... Oh, well, Dr. Flaster, perhaps, can look She's over the baby. She's upstairs at the moment. She's quite aware that you are uh, you adore squirreling together and chatting about things, and she has no real interest <laughs> in the slightest. She has only one job, and that's to make sure that this one here becomes a doctor. Yes. Because my, my son <laughs> is 25 now. Okay. Who, who's your son? Also, can the, we establish that that is truth? That is true. Okay, good. I am, um, well. spiritually speaking, it is difficult for me to tell the truth until a certain point in a relationship. And the Luchita pointed out some some things to me. So this is truth. There's a clambering of the ladder as Lucas comes down, sees everyone talking, and goes, "Oh, right, yes. Uh, mm, I'll go back." <laughs> no, 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 Lucas, you can come in. Don't worry. He comes down gingerly, <laughs> right? As he comes down. <clears throat> Are you okay, bite, Lucas? Uh, <laughs> oh, what is? Why is there a baby? Look, don't don't worry. You're here <laughs> no, no. because Hello. You're now here because I value your opinion, okay? No, thank you. Don't don't get distracted by the child. Where did the child come? Yes. Who's that? No, don't point at me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Right. Why would you do that? It's a very confusing situation. Really? <laughs> oh well. Um, uh, no, Lucas, Lucas. By any chance named Sigismund? It is. But it. <laughs> no. Uh, the child is, yes. Um, you need to understand that this is not yes, mine. It is Castellibaran's. <clears throat> she is mine. She reaches out and oh, takes yeah. the child. Unless anyone else would like, would you like? Elric will hold the baby. Yeah, yeah. Elric's yeah. well up with yeah. life, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I imagine he's quite and, happy. And, and the child looks at you. Oh. Directly. Hi, oh. little one. Oh, she's looking. He's, he's, he's looking at you. Well, that is a good sign. He's only two months old. What That's not meant to? to happen yet. But according to your grandmother, at least, she's been lecturing me for weeks about what children can do and can't do at particular points in their age. Right, yes. Well, she's, I believe, currently trying to organise a marriage for me at some point, so the uh, oh. sooner we move away from here, the better. <laughs> well, Glutilda did say that we have to leave by tomorrow. Yes, so the better then. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sure, excellent. Um, I, have, I have presents for everybody. I, I have gifts. They are they are upstairs, but um, um, I, I'll, I'll fetch them. Don't worry. Oh, he says, well, I'll do it. All right. Thank you. And, and give them one water. I might start taking this armor off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. You've done your bit. Yeah. Would you like a hand, Father? Um, Ten of I, I, I need. I need to. I need to learn to do it myself, just in case. All right. I don't think you take full plate uh, off by yourself. And you hear it's a call from above. Should, do you, bring down the cases or take things out. What would you prefer? Um, just. Yeah, bring down the cases. It means more dramatic as a reveal. <laughs> right. Um, <of> course. <laughs> Matilda, can you carry the cases, please? And you hear a oh blooming hell. Oh, come, come on, come on, come, 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 come. I, I would help, but I, I quite believe. Right. <laughs> and case number one is lowered down by Matilda. Oh yes, very good. Right. He says, ah, and there comes the second. Okay. And then another. Good. Excellent. 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 All right. This one is a sort of collective gift. Uh, 
good hinges, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, and I have uh, one for you, you may. I have one for you, Birdie. I have one for you. You might not want it anymore, but there we go. Um, and one for myself. Um, but uh, these are all, uh, well, Young Floyd top quality leather jackets. Uh, all leather jacks. Dags. Um, nice. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, Elric, I know that you can't sort of do armor on the. Thing. So I got you this, and it goes in slightly smaller, <laughs> brings out like a leather ball, um, which is squishy, and he says, um, this is this is for, I know you, you sometimes get, well, bladder, bladder-esque thing, you know, like a football, but smaller. Um, I, I know you get stressed out sometimes, <laughs> so when you're feeling a little bit emotional, <laughs> I think you could just sort of take your, just really go for it. Just. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And yes, perfect. Excellent. It's working. <laughs> uh, so that's for you. Um, all right. And then I actually have uh, some some specific things. Um, Alaminoi, this this I got done for you uh, and bring out. And it's a it's a cloak, um, and it is uh, in motley, like like motley, but it's like mud's nuts. Um, so top quality stuff. If that's what it's made of. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkly, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very wrinkly. Loads, loads yeah. of different colours. I love as, it. As, yes, no, I thought you would enjoy it. Um, so that's for you. There you Thank are. You. Uh, then um, Elric, I, I'm getting the vibe that you're not entirely impressed with your squeeze. <laughs> no, does it make a noise if he squeezes it? No. No. Oh, <laughs> no, no it's all right. Um, <laughs> oh, I got you this actually. Uh, it pulls out a small uh, wooden case about this big. Um, slides up the front of it to reveal um, it's a bottle of wine. Ooh. It's very good vintage. <laughs> um, and I'm told that it has a, uh, a spicy aroma, so it should cut through quite nicely for yourself. Mm. There you are. What's it named? Oh, well, I asked for a Pinotage, but I don't know if that <laughs> actually exists in this it, world. This is not a Pinotage. Has Eric had a wine very similar to it, it recently? It is the same wine. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is it? And Holy shit. Yeah, he just had it. He just had a glass, but oh my god, yeah. Right, he looks happy. You're welcome. Um, oh my god. <laughs> you're my god. Uh, Birdie, I got you two actually. Uh, as well as obviously the jack. Um, so this other one pulls out a case about this big. Um, it's clasped and then opens up the clasp. Reveal. Gun. Pistol. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> um, with powder and bullets, um, and then I also got you this one. I don't know whether this will work, but you talk about it quite a lot, so it might do. Is it sharp? Um, no, it's not actually, because I thought you would do sharp, but I thought if ever you wanted sharp, you would just do it yourself. You know, so I, so I thought something else, um, and it's a book, the Elric Creed. Oh, thank you. Uh, no problems. All bone and gold in the oh. edges. Is this what it's now, like to be rich? Now, <laughs> now I own two books. Yes. And a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nobody's going to interrupt my reading. <laughs> um, you may. You may. I have these. Um, and it's like a, another crate because you need it for these ones. Um, open it up a little bit, like lined with uh, hay and straw and things. And uh, just like little gaudy pots. Um, now in there, 50% uh, of them are sort of cooking oil, olive oils, greases, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, the other 50% are oil, but highly flammable. Yay! <laughs> All right. Now How you've do said you know you want... the difference between them? Uh, taste it. <laughs> <laughs> and mark it. I didn't actually think about that. I was really um, there was a lot of things going on. Uh, Father, uh, for yourself to help with, you know, uh, the pain and what you've said. Um, I got this, and it's just a giant bag of uh, weird roots. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so <laughs> it's so much. Uh, Thank you. Right, and I think that is, I think that is everything. Um, oh, I also look at this. I found this. Now this is very exciting or interesting. I don't really have you had time to figure that out. Oh, yet? of course I have. Excellent, 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 excellent. Look at this. Right, this book. Yes. Magic book. Alric's interest is definitely <laughs> no. Right now, I must I must say my magic book. Okay, <laughs> before we start, um, magical, not heretical, because we've had that before. Can, can I just? Yeah. Does, does does it feel bad? <laughs> I hope it doesn't. One hundred percent seems fine. Excellent. Seems all, right. all right. Feels okay, you think? Mm. Ten crowns. Got this for. Uh, well, unfortunately, somebody passed away, and part of their uh, auction off this magic book. Um, I don't know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> magic wise, because we didn't have that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is it about? Um, you have no idea yet. I don't know. I've <laughs> he, hasn't, uh, he hasn't dived in yet. My lord could potentially, i.e., have a look at it and see if I could parse it. Uh, what? See if I could figure it out for you. Oh, right. Yeah, certainly. No worries. Um, actually, I've got speed reading, haven't I? Yes. Yeah, one second. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that fast. <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> You were being wise. You were waiting until you, uh, you know, father, just make sure it wasn't bad. And apparently it's not bad, so good stuff. it's up to yourself whether you wish to um, squirrel it away and have a look at it later or whether you wish to pass it over. I'll, let, I'll let Elric have a look. Okay. But, but again, my book. Oh, right. Of course, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, what else? Oh, um, I'm just showing you these things because I've got them here. Check this out. Clunk. Uh, you're not the only one with full plate. Look at that. Right. <laughs> holy, holy moly! That is um, that is exactly what you'd expect one of the prime estates of the empire to be wearing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wear it all out and about because obviously covered in uh, stags and all that yeah. sort of thing. Um, as well as look, ceremonial rapier. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Very good. Unfortunately, nothing special about it. Just looks really nice. But still, very good. Nice um, stags horn handle. Yeah. Uh, so so um, you know. Thank, thank you, my lord. And uh, I. And I know you tried to source a breastplate for me, but found my dimensions hard to... Well, so I, I thought there was a one-size-fits-all with sort of breastplate. <laughs> no. And um, I, I did. I genuinely did. I know you did. How do you know I did? Well, your father told me. What? Before he had the armour and make me this. <laughs> you, you, my, my, you, you saw father, did you? Yeah, I, uh, I've got two things to say. Uh, right. The first one is uh, Sister Habergorn sends her regards, and I'll clip him lightly around the ear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, your brother Vendelin is safe back in Neufalion. Who told you that? I brought him there. You did? Huh? Where did you find him? He was hiding underneath the uh, Black Rock here. Yeah. Oh, well done. Okay, well then, then this gift is not uh, good enough. Um, 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 Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Good. Uh, okay. Yes. So, what so, did... so would I be correct in saying that's your brother? No. Oh, right. What? I'm uh, sorry, no. Is my brother. I just thought you had that look in the eye when you came and pr propositioned me, and then you... No, 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 sorry, that was uh, Lucas. Oh, right, uh, Lucas. That's your brother. Didn't think that would be the case. Fine, <laughs> right, Lucas. No, 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 yeah, no sorry. Just making sure. That's your, your, that's your brother, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, right. Youngest. Right. Right, well, that's good. That means, what, nobody was harmed? He is um, so like you. <laughs> uh, which like me? Like me when? C constantly, as I, as we were in disguise and incognito travelling from Movers Right to Life Al Young, he constantly kept asking for a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Relentlessly. <laughs> Does he know how to use one? No! <laughs> Well, you know, they seem to be relatively straightforward. And, and honestly, I suspect if he fired one, he'd have pissed his own britches. But, yes. you know, he wanted one. <laughs> yes. Uh, my brother, um, uh, Wendelin... Wendel... Wendel... Uh, Bedlin. What he said. Uh, Wendelin. Good, good boy. Um, uh, very, um, you know, he's not a physical man. And this is me saying it. Okay. Okay? You understand what I'm talking about here? All right? Yeah. So, you know, Talks bones tied together place, with rubber bands. Yeah, he's highly strong. Exactly. Rubber bands probably don't exist here. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sinew of some sort. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not some thread. Not some thread, exactly. Uh, all right, well, what did Father say? I, well, he thanked me. Um, he uh, noted that um, you had matured somewhat. Good. Um, as he noted, had I. Um, he didn't give you a bollocking. Why would he give me a bollocking? I just rescued his son. Well... <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you more about that. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I also met him. Yeah? And he right. was filled with vitriol for me, so. Well, yes, but... Um, well, the only one who met him and he didn't give a bollocking? No, uh, <laughs> he tried to give a bollocking to uh, the doctor, and she talked him out of a bollocking, wow. which right. is very impressive. Um, and, well, no, he gave me an all Lucas mighty... Lucas slightly at that and goes off to find something to do upstairs. Oh, <laughs> yes, I should point out... Um, Lucas and the Doctor, uh, they had a little bit of a side adventure. Bandits. Um, I noticed for a while, like, young Freud troops were looking for them. Yes, that was me. Ah, oh, right. You might have been in the castle while I was there. Oh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think but, I was there while you but were your, there. But your, your father said because we were... Uh, I was there very oh, much incognito. Lovely weeks. <laughs> My mother was there very much incognito. 
Well, I mean, so was I. Yeah, and I, I left the castle before you, but arrived later because I which, came by a more circuitous path. Which castle? Not Black Rock. Uh, New Fal Young. Yeah. Although I was in Black Rock as well. Oh, oh. I was in Black Rock. Me too. Oh. oh. Under it. Right. How we was it? We stayed in a very nice room. You Mine, s- less so. <laughs> <laughs> you stayed in the castle. You stayed in Black Rock. Yeah. Where, where it's currently occupied <laughs> by Aldorfian. <laughs> I mean, it looks great. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Like, like it's very tasteful. There's a good or right amount of thri- uh, thrills. Frills. Um, uh, My lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. One, a good dress should do both. You know? Uh, frills and thrills. Um, and belly aches. Um, and belly aches. Um. <laughs> Yes, no, uh, very good. Um, it's nice to see you sort of, you know, taking it back. I it? am going to have to change, but I thought I'd show you all before I, I did. Nice. That's it. Um, what were, what <laughs> were you both doing in Blackrock? Uh, well, I don't know, Brady, if you want to tell your part, but uh, I think maybe Brady could have, you know, been in much worse accommodations. I was in a cell. What did you uh, do? It's better than underground. I, I was bored. Um, in a pit. <laughs> yeah, I was in the fighting pits, and then I was in the sewers, and there was maybe an attempted assassination, and I might have helped kill some old Dwarfian soldiers. And there was a small possibility I might have been hung, but luckily for me, you may put in a good word, and it's all right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, enough about me. Moving I- on. Moving on. <laughs> you were almost assassinated? No, no, she, no, she almost assassinated someone. Who did you almost assassinate? Oh, um... How do you almost assassinate someone? As Richard, you didn't know that you were... <laughs> in a sling at the side <laughs> and leans in. <laughs> no, I... Sit down, Bernie. <laughs> Damn it. Well, what's his name? Um, von Dabernink. Yeah. General Von Dabernink. That wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Would be a guy in charge of... The occupation. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I ended up sleeping with him Wait. instead, but that's beside the point. You, <laughs> interesting. You, you, did, you did what? Well, who led it at least? <laughs> yeah, but he's not no, actually no, no, in charge. No. You did what? Yes, I ended up sleeping with him instead. It's you're quite poor at assassinating. <laughs> <laughs> Well, He's stabbing like him in the wrong way. way. Yeah. He's going to break his heart and kill him with loneliness. Well, when, when, big when death, was little that? death. How, how many nights did you stay here? Couple box. It was the last night. Oh, the last night. Right. Okay. Did um who? Asked you to assassinate him. That's that is a very long story. <clears throat> I think we've got time. The, pers- the person in question is dead. He was killed by rat catchers in the sewers. It's a whole thing. Um, there were some Ulricans, the werewolf type person. There were stabbings. And... Werewolf not known for you. you. Oh, well, yeah, a guy who could turn into a wolf. That is. I was um, right. yeah, kind of jealous, actually. It was kind of cool. But... Yeah. Okay. Did I get told about that part as well? Like... Nope. Okay. You you got involved with some Ulricans mm-hmm. and a man who could turn into a wolf. Well, at the time I thought he was my brother. It was a, the whole thing. So Why did you think he was your brother? Because he looked very much like me and I'd lock it with my face in it. That would be a reasonable... Reasonable, yes, yeah. No, yeah. 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 So, yeah and was he your brother? Turned out not to be. Apparently, allegedly. Well, how did you have a lock it with your apparently, face? Apparently it was our, our, his, our, maybe my mother. It looked just like me. It was very confusing. But then he would be your brother. But he wasn't. But maybe he was. I don't know. Do you know your parents? No. Did Just you possible. feel any connection? Really difficult. We were fighting for most of the time. Well, you apparently <laughs> felt enough of a connection <laughs> that you accompanied him. Well, I was supposed to be trying maybe. to stop him rioting in the streets, but yeah. I, mm. I have a, a question for, for you, Elric, which I was going to ask for myself, but it might also be relevant <laughs> for, for Birdie. Um, I've heard that there are, and and not the same kind of ritual that, that you were talking about, my lady, but that there are magical methods by which one's lineage can be determined, like one's ancestors. Mm-hmm. Um, do you know of any magisters capable of, of such a feat? Uh, none in my order, I believe, would, would have that, but I may have, well, we don't spend much time here, but there may be someone I can ask. Yeah. The, I know of a, an artifact that does exactly that for the holder of it. Oh. That would be most useful. It, it, apparently, the, 
it is my divination is um, easier if I am aware of the saints from my past, but I don't know my parentage. I have no way of tracing. You're that. aware of the what from your past? The the saints, the the, the seers, that those blessed by Sigmar in, in my past. Apparently, in your lineage. Yeah, th those mm -hmm. of us who have it now have had an ancestor who had oh, it as well. Cool. And if we call upon them, it makes it easier to. That is control. interesting. Um, um, yeah, my master has an artifact. If you want to go to Tay. No, I don't, I'm sure I'd rather find a different route if, if at all it doesn't work. Mm. Although it would work much easier if you had a child. Actually, that would require Sigmar and violent, violent, violent <laughs> vows. That would be like <laughs> problematic. Nine months. Yeah. I, I visited the Archduke von Valken. <laughs> Greta smiles. And procured a. a a conditional alliance for your father with him. Oh, very good. Well done. How? Oh, what is the condition? Yeah, he, doesn't he hate his father? What no. did you offer? Is it a case of enemy is my enemy and all that sort of stuff? It's a case of an old warhorse who has nothing and sees an opportunity to get something. What's the condition? That we rescue, not us, but that somebody rescues slash Kidnaps because she may not be willing. His daughter, who is the emperor's mistress. Oh, oh. so easy. Uh, <laughs> Didn't ask for much then. No, but I leave it with his father because I think she is there of her own accord, and your father could come to terms with him. Did he claim otherwise? The his father did yes. What did he claim regarding his daughter? That so the von Valfens, especially the wife who is of the imperial line, by the way, she believes that the daughter is a hostage, kept in Altdorf, is not the emperor's mistress, and is a paraded around for convenience. She thinks her little girl is a political tool, and she wants her freed from that. The father thinks something similar. Your father thinks that she is there and is the emperor's mistress and is fully, well, engaged in the power that that gives her. The father contends that if he <coughs> sides with the Jungfreuds, his daughter will be murdered. Your father contends that she will not, and it is down to her. Right. Yeah, well, knowing my old man and what we had a conversation around, I think he necessarily wouldn't carry the way. So if she did kick the bucket and, uh, I'm, apologies, die, and... Um, well, he doesn't, of course he wouldn't care, but, but von Valfen is not allying with him. No. It's conditional. But the thing is, is if she dies, then von Valfam is then enraged with the Emperor anyway. And has reason to go to war. And who is well, already at war with the Emperor? In, indeed. I did consider that myself, but but it couldn't be because von Valfam sided with the Jungfreus that she died, because then but it could it's be, circular. It could be exactly that, because a rumour that he had got to the Emperor. Just thinking how his father works. Well, it, it is beyond us. Now. If the emperor believes von Valfen has made the alliance before he has made the alliance, the emperor may force von Valfen to make the alliance. He's exactly. too weak. He's more likely to just get killed. Mm -hmm. He's mm. he's quite separate from his lands. He's uh, isolated in owls in the south of uh, Wallenstein, uh, where the old Valfens used to rule as kings over two hundred years ago. It's quite separate from the Duchy of Valfen, which is a potential power base, but he doesn't control that. Yeah. If anyone knows the lineage, Matina is his wife, and I suspect she may be the Emperor's niece. Oh my goodness. I didn't know. She tries to hide it. She dyes her hair. She she reminded me of someone I know who is of the Imperial line. Uh, Elric will, will chime in and go, well, it's funny that you mentioned the Imperial line. Do you still have contact with Magister Grown? Alana, yes, that is the person yeah. who Matina reminded me of. Hmm. Yeah, so I've come to learn that she and another Grey are belonging to the Imperial Line, yes, one I think, being the original plan for the Emperor. I think Alana is. Emmanuel. Yes, I think Alana is the uh, aunt of the Emperor. It wasn't made clear just that she was in the line and. Maybe not to be I, trusted. I think she is the daughter of Emperor Matthias. 
Yeah, but also, as the father just mentioned, Emmanuel, I've been I do not know highly this warned. He, he, he is was our the enemy. Prince. He was in line to be the emperor. Yeah. He was Carl Francis's older brother. And then it was discovered he was sent to the, or had to be sent to the colleges and you can't inherit once you're there. So he uh, seems to be... According to Alana, it was purposeful to make sure Carl Franz inherited. That Emmanuel was a better choice, a better... I had I didn't know the name, but I heard the story. Uh, a better fit would have made a better emperor, and something was done to him. Done to him? To make him she a says, wizard. I would never have expected this excursion on the barge to be so bloody deep. We're just getting <laughs> started. <laughs> <laughs> um, are, you, are you trying to suggest there are ways to make force someone to become... A witch? Mm -hmm. No, not a witch. Well, initially it would be. He's licensed. Now, but initially it would have been a witch. Well, everyone has to start that way. Yeah. Yeah. To awaken the magic within the ability to manipulate the winds, yes. <laughs> Alana, I think, had the wrong of it. She thought there was elven blood in the Imperial line. I think that is unlikely. It sounds impossible. Oh. And and uh, the the second thing I have to, um, what do you, you know, Father, about shoggoths? Wow, that's a word. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely a word. Yeah. Shoggoth. Shoggoth. Um, you may do yourself a lower theology test. This one is though actually given recent things. I'm going to make it only difficulty two. Oh, that might be fortune push. That seems fair. Yeah. Two successes. Two successes, just. <laughs> Comet. <laughs> Comet. Skaranarak. 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 The last temple of Skaranarak. You were just yeah, recently was just talking about that. discussing <laughs> those with Habercorn. Yeah. And the last temple of Skaranarak has an enormous claw rising up in the centre of it at the back. At the end of a very long pilgrimage, it starts at Altor. And it's said to be a creature that was fought by Sigmar. Crunch, and he apparently took it down with a claw that size. Good job, Sigmar. Mm. And well, he left a hammer print in the rock. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> guy's got skills. <laughs> Dude's got skills. And it is named in one book as a shoggoth. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard the term. Um, Skarena rock has been described as as one of those. The great beast that Sigmar slew after he left Oldorf. We, we think we might have found one. Like a living one? Well, according to my stories, the creatures um, sleep in stone. And when the gates wax and the end times are potentially here, they wake out of the stone. And, and it's moving. Its eye was, what, 11? Well, I mean, there's a, <laughs> what, there's a claw at the last Skarinarak temple that's over 12 foot long. Yes, the eye was massive, but the thing was, Absalom came. He had followed us there, and he has a dwarven blade with a rune on it, and I think somehow it tells him if things are alive. And he pushed it up against it, and this rune flared, and he said, it's alive. It was massive. The eye was, I mean... I wonder if the last... I wonder if found that he doesn't... He took it from a dwarf that he killed. I wonder if this last Skoranarak temple isn't so much a temple as much as it's Skoranarak. There's a hammer print there that was supposedly left by, by Galmaraz. What if the reason there's a hammer print in the stone is because when that hammer indentation was made, it wasn't a stone? Uh -huh. Well, they, they... I would like from you a lower theology test. Well, I mean, then... Nepal... Galmaraz goes through stone and metal like it's water. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't leave an indentation. It would not. Yeah. Which means it would have to have been alive when yeah. it struck it. In fact, it must be right, because Galmaraz would have gone right through it. If it a living creature. Yeah. Quite. Is that the rune that your brother has, to go through stone? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. I don't know what it does. I just know that he... It it, oh, that, that, that's what the Runefang has as well. That's the that's thing that he saw. The Runefang, correct. Yeah. The, the master rune of? Alaric the Mad. Yep. You, 
you, Absalom has a rune fang. No, no, no. but he no. The, but but what Galmaraz and the rune fangs have is is the, the rune. You, you remember in the Shaffenfest, I had a vision mm-hmm. and I I heard a, a word. I I think I think maybe the Duke of Middenland uh, carries rune fang um, and that carries. I've forgotten the name already. Dragtuki. Oh, Dragtuki. And that was the voice that I like heard. Dragon something. Dragon's tooth. Fan. Dragon's yeah. tooth. And that's why. Dragon's I, tooth. Yeah, I heard that in my I had a vision. I think I, I think it's just such a potent magical artifact, or, or whether it's the rune or whatever. I think I just knew that it was there, but I didn't know what it was that I knew. Um, well, yes. And, and that rune is like a squared spiral. <clears throat> Lucas um, comes back down the stairs. Well, it was definitely <clears throat> stirring. <clears throat> they had cleared out down. the rubble, and when we went back there, she pointed out to me where the rubble had come back because the. If you don't mind me interrupting, would anyone like tea? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. please. Tea, tea, tea. Uh, Lucas. Yes. Wine. <laughs> Wine, of course. Even better. <laughs> well, my lord, if you'd like to try some of that is that that is for you. If yeah. you wish to, you Everyone can. can have some. It may be a bit spicy. My lady. Or some. And she goes. I, I would like some tea as well. Just some hot water for me. I need to make some different tea. Um, uh, talking about the slumbering creatures, though, like in Nippon, for example, uh, where there's many more spirits around, the, the, everything has a spirit. So the mountains have are are essentially slumbering, and if there were more magic around, they would awaken. I'm assuming it's something similar. Yes, when the gates wax, magic more magic comes into the world and and things stir the dragons wake this, the creatures wake this this is the crack in the sand timers that we were talking about no that that is wax. different that is different yes that's not gates waxing no that that is different the gates are something different than i think the connection that the father has with the aether right okay but the gates a long time ago all the gods were just the gods and some of the gods didn't like what the physical world was doing to them. And so they rebelled and tried to destroy it. I told you this story. Yes. And, and the other gods, well, it's a long story, but essentially the ruinous powers were sealed away from this world. But the cost of that was all the other gods had to retreat from their children. They could not be with us anymore. And so this world used to be... Well, the Aether and here used to be the same, part of the same thing, but now they are separate. But the gates are, something happened there, and magic leaks into the world through the gates. And every time the gods choose to touch the world, or magic comes in, it hastens the destruction of our world. Because you have to imagine the Aether is... Is perfect. It is ordered for the gods. The only thing that can change it is us. And they hate. They hate that. The ruinous powers want to destroy this because it is the only thing that can change them and end them. Oh. And ev- the end times have come again and again and again. The gates have waxed. The armies have come to destroy this place. And every time they have been pushed back, the time of Magnus was the most recent. Before that, it was longer ago. The the times have been Mm. coming sooner. And amongst my people, the end times are something that come again and again. But when the end times tip over into, uh, into when they can no longer be stopped, that is Ranadandra, when the gods walk again. And that is what I am trying to stop. Because the prophecy that we heard in Altdorf, everyone said the same prophecy. I was a seer once and I saw the time, not that the end times would come, but I saw a time when all the seers would see the same thing. And that meant one thing to me. It meant that the architect had, everything was set. The pattern, the order was now set for Ranadandra to come. And the only thing we could do to stop it was become the king, become the wild cards. So I took a path so I could not be seen (laughs) because it was the only thing. I was the greatest seer of my people. And the only thing I couldn't see was what I would choose to do if I 
became unseen. You look like you need a cup of tea. Thank you. So I, I cast aside that life. I, I <laughs> threw away my memories. I became a new person 51 years ago to be, I will not use the word because it is, has an effect, but to become the... A wild card. The wild card. That is interesting because that is what my father said that he would use me as. Yes, and I saw you. What? I saw your face. Oh! As the person yes. who would be in the places that I would need to be to change things. Shad is over Bogenhaf and we already failed, but things are coming. The death on the Reich, the moor and his vestments of green, uh, the, the horned rat, all of those things are, are now signposts that will lead to the end of days, unless we do something that they have not seen. M my master is far greater than me. He is, he, he is, if I am a priest, he is a, a blessed servant of Sigma, maybe even Sigma himself. Um, and he, he moves to help. He, he moves now. He advises the Countess. So, so is he in this and that then? He, he has been in Nulm for a long time. He, he was with Magnus. I wonder if we could swim by Nulm when we're at Grissonald. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. And, and part of my raison d'etre was to get him to move. He was grieving Magnus in Nulm, I think. A lot of my people have, have lost hope. The eldest of us. He, he knew Magnus. Yes. Yes. Why? We, when we were travelling, you said you your people live each day as if it is new. Yes. And I said, do you not get bored or full up? Yet there are those of you who are... When we are broken. Right. Through great grief or sorrow or despair. What you must understand is that for us, the end times, they come again and again, and they come thousands of years apart. And I centuries think would be better. It's only been, centuries. Yeah, centuries. It's only been 6,000 years since and, and, the Court. And he, through, I think, it has been a mere breath for him since Magnus, and yet it has come again. And he lost so much. How um how old is he? He is. You don't know. Older than the first Great War. How old are you? I am as old as that. But Greta goes white. <laughs> <laughs> but my spirit and my mind and my heart are young. For don't. I remember nothing of it. Yeah, my, my thoughts exactly. Um, Glug. Well, uh, cheers, everybody. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Um, I'm sorry I have not been truthful with you, but it is hard for me to trust. I, I think I understand what you were meaning earlier when you said, is it the best place for me? <laughs> okay. Well, you're in now. Okay. Yes. Welcome to, welcome to the... Uh, the chaos with a small C. <laughs> it would, it would there <laughs> are very few places that you will be safer from your father's wizards. But remember, all this prophecy, it can be changed. There have been plenty of things that have been said that, oh, it's this thing and it always will be this thing. And then this other thing happens. And it's not that thing. And everyone says, oh, no, well, we, that could have been the thing as well. Uh, and so I'm not saying that you're wrong, but I'm just saying... There's plenty of scope for things to go a different way. I had been a seer for a very long time. And I was very good at it. And but. something that I saw, my sister and I disagree profoundly over this. Everyone disagrees with me. I think, and I'm not saying you're wrong. All I'm saying is there are different forms of seeing. And you were, I don't doubt, an incredible seer, but your form of being a seer is very different from mine. And that's the revelation that came on me at, at the, the 
the convocation um, in Altdorf was that those seers who had eyes were seers who could be tricked. And those seers without were those who saw something different. And my visions are not what they were because my visions before were being influenced. And that prophecy is a prophecy that is being propagated with intent. There's a lot of influence. Malign and maybe providence as well, but... And that doesn't mean it's not true. Influence. I'm not saying that the prophecy is not true, but I'm saying it's being propagated with intent. It's like when you have a certain story and you release it in a certain light to make it sound something else. Um, spinning, and, I and believe. And you ensure that the, the, the bards tell the, the story around yes. and around so that the, the reputation spreads. It's like that, but with destiny itself. All the same story, the same things, but just different inflections implying different things. Maybe. I I mean, you you say you were a seer and you gave that up, so... And you don't, you have no memory of that life. I have people who I'm why? close to. Why? Why? I don't understand why you do that. If you had all this power, why would you give it up? Well, she, she just said to, she saw the only chance. But why was it the only chance? Well, she would have seen it, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, she couldn't see anything that she could do to fix it. So the only way that fixing it is possible is if she did something that she couldn't have seen, which meant she had to enter onto this mm -hmm. path. Because <laughs> there are other people who can do what I do, but I couldn't be sure of them. The only person I could be sure of was myself. But how can you be sure of yourself if you can't remember anything to be sure of? Can you be certain? Well, all I have is the path that sets before me. I know my purpose. It is to stop the end times, to save my people and to save your people. So why do you need to lose your memories? You know why. Why? Because you're predictable. You can predict yourself just by knowing yourself. Because I was predictable. Even if you couldn't see yourself, you can still predict yourself. Unknown. You, and because you were part of that tapestry. Yes. Correct. Yeah. I, and so I had to become... I, and my my family have raged at me that, that they could have done it, that my master could have done it. I wish he would. But I cannot be sure of anything. None of us can but ourselves. Mm. Feeling less and less sure the more you talk. And I knew my purpose was pure. Even if I have no memories, <clears throat> I have a single purpose. And your father and I were agreed on that. It was the thing that bound us together. What? That the end times were coming. And so he thinks the end times are coming. And our purpose was sure. The side we were on, we knew. Mm. And it was not the ruinous powers. Well, you know, for someone who's supposedly fighting the end times, he's doing a very good job of bringing it about. Um, something I have discovered, Greta, is our fathers may have had lives and been different people before they were our fathers. <laughs> oh. yes. I'm beginning to miss myself, at least it was well, quiet and made sense. Uh, no, so, <laughs> my father, um, as I have always known him, as you have always known him, Liverpool, has been a very cold man, a very calculated individual, um, quick to t uh, anger, but finding reason and pointing fault. Um, However, and we do know that he has his vices, we've met a few of his vices as we've travelled. <laughs> do, do you want to carry this bit on? <laughs> no, you, you carry it on. I will right. intervene if you get anything wrong. Um, <laughs> he, he has married my mother, obviously, and um, I'm here, and so are my two other brothers. Uh, but he's not happy in that. Actually, I don't think he's not happy. I just think he's not... He's not unhappy. He's just not happy, if that makes sense. He's not full, to use my previous statement. Mm. Um, it's quite likely that he's ultimately in love uh, with Alaminoi. What? 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 <laughs> 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 Um, this 
50 years yes. from now? Yes. Yeah, yes. yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, she was known back then, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I've written it down twice because it's very, very amusing. <laughs> <coughs> well, in Null. Uh, no, <laughs> as Adorabelle. No, no, that is wrong. Well, that's not what I said the or heard. Adorabelle. Oh, the Adorabelle. <laughs> That really? is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very did much you, so. Did you choose that? Oh. Um, my master chose it. He thought it was funny. Okay. Good sense of humour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I lived in a in um, the golden hoop, and I had a door and a bell. And one day he just said it. Oh, I had a question for you about elf names. The, uh, last week, last week, um, when we did the thing with Lucas, Feluvial. That was last week. Yeah, but mm -hmm. she wasn't, it, was it last but, week for her? No, 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 it was like no, three weeks ago. No, it was in the future, no? No, 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 it was on the road after team. Yeah, on the road after team. Feluvial was one of my pseudonyms. Oh. I just made it up because it sounded like the most ridiculous name. Yes, I know you did, but remember then Lucas said that was her name, and the rumour was she was married to the Duke of Tame. Mm. The most peculiar Am I a pieces of truth <laughs> end up in these tales. I, I, I do not think I was there. I do not remember that. There's an elf in Blackrock mm -hmm. using what? Everybody believes is a very fake name. Mm -hmm. Do you know them? I I do not know who they are. You, I didn't meet them. The boy you saw an elf, Astaroth. Ast I don't know if that's right. Green Ivy. Uh, I mean. I I met the elf. We're wearing. No, no, no. Well, I saw an elf from a distance. Like, that, that doesn't <laughs> sound like a real what? elf. Ast I think it was Astaroth Green Ivy. Like, and everybody kind of felt that was a made-up name. I met an elf too, but she uh, said her name was Lori. Lori? And uh, she was the lady envoy of. No. <laughs> she was indeed living in Nome. <laughs> she was wrong. Well, she lived in Nome. What was her name? Lorith. Lorith. Yeah. She had one, a really cool yeah. mask. This one was hanging around uh, dabbing it. Did her As mask look a little like this? No, I mean, I'll show what? you a mask that looks very similar. <gasps> the the reason yeah, I uh, express this cool is a feminine face mask. Um, uh, Sorry, oh, it's just pulled out a big golden feminine face mask. Oh my, yes! Really look, similar! Watch this. And he puts it on and breaks the stick, or switches it off and it just sticks to his face. <gasps> it, it's and actually like stick. that! Yeah. I love He's that. There. Yeah, but I, it was... I saw her too. It's a very beautiful oh. golden mask that reminds Female. me Female. i am having a 30th wedding anniversary party and i would like you all to come <laughs> with whom <laughs> yeah, which one with the commander luchita oh, oh. oh luchita sounds nice when? yeah whenever we are in the same place as her Okay. Right, okay. okay. So Similar kind of loose 30th. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would like it to be on the anniversary of our ditching, but um, that may not pan out. Um, I is have... ditching a, is that a colloquialism that I don't understand? Yes, well, where we met, no, no, not where we met, um, it's a long story, but in Hendorf, you have heard of Hendorf. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hellor Empire, anyone? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. A I take it back, no. <laughs> Hendorf is in Wizenland, and it is where um, it is where my son is at the moment. And um, there, if you push someone into a ditch, you have to get married. Um, right. So what? Uh, I mean, yes, it seems well, as good a system. No, but it's any. fascinating. <laughs> it's fascinating because there is a el, a water spirit, a sylph, who is as old as my master, I think, um, who lives up in the mountains and she blesses marriages with with her watery uh, i don't know magic and it's clearly that the locals have somehow heard tale of this over the years and over the years it has turned into they push each other into ditches <laughs> so i pushed her into a ditch um we were already married but i wanted to get married again so i pushed her into a ditch Right. Oh. Okay. And we had a party. And then we had a fifth anniversary party. And then we had a tenth anniversary party. And then I was away for twenty years, and and now it's our thirtieth. It went by so quickly. 
as lovely as that story was, yes. What the reason I brought up that other elf? Oh yes, is, <laughs> is because they are, they seem to be in in cahoots with Dabinik. Now, Dabinik. You, you might think that he's in charge here. He's not in charge here. Emmanuel Mack is, is in charge here. Mm-hmm. Um, he's following orders and she's writing the orders. Um, and he doesn't like that. Uh, he wants to attack North Alion. She's the one who's holding him back. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's fascinating. He... She is. Sorry? She is. Are you sure? She is. Says Greta. And she's holding him and back. And she's holding him yeah. back. Yeah. Well, of course, she's much more capable than him. Very smart. And... Lady. He was going to have a kill, but I warned her. Um, but He was going to have Emmanuel Nack kill. Yeah. I I saw a vision of it. Oh. My first proper, clear, oracular vision since this. Um, it was so unlike anything I'd seen before. Like, I saw him have the conversation. I saw him give the order. And I saw him do it. I think at the precise moment I had the vision was when he thought of the idea. Um, and then he stepped outside and spoke to his elf friend and said, I've got a good idea, I'm going to tell you about it. What did the elf look like? I didn't see them. Oh. No. And even if I had seen them, <laughs> I wouldn't have seen said them. Said the blind man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, green Ivy? No Asteroth? No, 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 no. no. Worry down with rules? Nothing. No, but I mean in terms of an epithet, it is unusual because it's not... Relatively unusual. Yep. It's a bit... It's a bit bland, blunt. Yeah, what would it mean? Yeah. yeah. yeah it is a very unusual epithet. Yeah. Mac was convinced. For it's example, it's a sort of epithet you'd imagine um, an Azure or Druki or Eonir making on behalf of, say, for example, the Azrai. Oh, yeah. As a joke. Uh, she, no, as a misunderstanding. Yeah. It was meant to come from the the south forests down in Britannia. Yes, the Azrai. Yes. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite understand. So the kind of thing that an Eonir... Druki or Azur would make if they were making a character that was yeah, Azrai, and, and they but, misunderstood the yeah. subtleties of the language. Yes, I would. It, it sounds like a made-up name that another Elven kin has made to pretend. So that's interesting because it was Emmanuel Mack who told me it was probably a made-up name. I don't know how she knew that. But... She's got a lot of fingers in different pies. Oh, sp- which reminds me, uh, if you hear some weird rumours about all of you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Hilda sticks her um, head um, down and says, sorry to disturb all your narrating. I uh, think we might want to go. Oh, um, yeah, no, fine. Sure. Could, could we hold for... I'm not sure we should. Our there does is need to a go. lot of soldiers out there. What do you need to do? And they've stopped. I need to leave a message for someone. Mm. Could we maybe get, could he look out and see if there's like couriers or anyone who can just drop a message to... We're out in the jetty and we're nowhere. Cabby? I, I think we should go. That's where the Birdie? soldiers are. They're gathering, is what I'm saying. Shit. It's night time and it's dark and... We could, we could send a message back. Mm-hmm. Okay, you are. Yo. Well, we'll be in Grastad within a day or two. We could easily, I mean, that's just a little, straight along the road from Uber's right. Yeah, there's just someone that I need to let know that we're going to Grissomwald for someone to meet there. Good. Do that from Grass. Cheers. Birdie. 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 I need you. Fine. She just pulls off the prison thing, starts putting on gear. Oh. Completely irrelevant that you guys are here. Really doesn't care. Oh We've my had goodness in front of you. <laughs> yes, I know, but that's in a situation where everybody <laughs> is actually near. It's a, it's a <laughs> collective, everybody's in it. You know By what the way, I mean? perhaps this would be a distraction for you, and Elric will kind of pull back one of his cloaks, and you see, like, the finest, the finest um, doctor's box. It's it's a it's it's like a, a wooden, full yeah yeah, um, uh. <laughs> yeah quite <laughs> oh it's nice with shallion birds all carved down the side a great imperial cross across the top it's golden laid and it's freaking amazing oh my what I just thought that if you if you want to be a doctor no one you you probably want the best possible stuff oh yes very much so I think it's all stocked up in there so I don't know what any of it is. <laughs> But if you open the drawers, maybe there's Holy stuff in there. Clank, clank. It's full of things you don't understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's this for? It's a, <laughs> <That's> a swizzer. <laughs> that must be a swizzer or something. <laughs> Knives and 
and and drugs and salves and pastes and potions and oh, potions that and smells horrible and and, and saws. Ooh, Ooh. wow! Okay. Um, um, and, and oh, and oh, oh. Uh, uh, lots of thread of um, some sort. Of guts and oh, there's everything in there. Gut for sewing with, not guts as in spear. Large <laughs> piece of intestine for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, anyway, this is this is. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I didn't think that we were doing presents, so I didn't get anyone else anything. Um, okay. But I just happened to make friends with an apothecary, and I got a, a good deal, knowing that you would need something like that. Uh, thank you. Thank You're you very, very much. Excellent. Lucas, look at this. Lucas um, uh, uh, comes out and it. says, I believe I'm supposed to be fetching Birdie. I'm coming. Oh, he's coming. I'm coming. He says, oh, oh, what, what have you got there, sir? Oh, look, look at it. Oh, oh, I see. You've made a very good choice. He I says, have. Well, I presume you bought it. No, Elric bought it for me. Because he was up um, above yeah. um, being embarrassed. Uh, mm, ra- uh, oh, really? Well, I mean... Bravo, sir. I don't know much about Bravo. these things. It was recommended to me by a friend. Oh, well, you are very good at taking recommendations. Um, he says, <laughs> it looks marvellous. <laughs> Birdie, you need to come up. By, by the way, Gohart, I am glad you're okay. Like... What? I, Brutilda and I spent ages just kind of being worried about you. you. It took so long. Like, all of you were gone for so long. I know then I was gone for like a week. But like, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't remember you spending time with Brutilda lamenting the Lord. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> what? No, what? well, it sounds like maybe we were at the same party. Well, if and you saw an elf with a s- similar mask, yeah, probably. Yeah, uh-huh. and so I was fox. gone after... Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you were there and you didn't say hi to me? I was focused on other things. That's so I rude. just saw you and I thought, oh, maybe. And then I I met going. a grey wizard who was very nice. That's why I was there. Oh, okay, well. It's my friend. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> my only friend. <laughs> mm. You're going to say, Andy? Uh, yeah, I think this might be a good time for Leopold to sit down and take his pouch out. Mm, good time. Um, mm. And he fishes out... Weird root. <laughs> eight, no, not weird root. Um, eight small bones, um, which he shakes and throws down on the ground and attempts a foretelling. While he's doing that, relating to birdie and nice. escaping. Oh, it is. Success. I'm going to use a fortune point. To he's just giving you one. Oh, oh. for free. <laughs> <laughs> Good use of talent. Zero successes, thank you. That's better than none. We're not going to sink. Okay, but Hilda's not going to swear at you too much. Good job. I'm going to take that as a win. Um, as she starts uh, working away at the winches, preparing all of the sails, yanking them up, and then you hear a call of, oh, no, no, no. Stop. Stop. Load the boat. I can ignore that. It's a barge. <laughs> <laughs> as, as a, no, no, hey, you, you fellows, go stop them. You, you hear quite clearly from Leopold. What? It appears that there's folks out there attempting to stop the barge leaving. Do I, I, do I don't recognise. Use the bloody barge point. pole. <laughs> That says, I do know. Use the bloody barge pole! <laughs> I don't, re- don't recognise that officer's voice. Nope. No idea. <laughs> so it's not <clears throat> the big man. As you can feel the barge beginning to lurch yeah. and shift. I'm going to I say, stop! Stop or we'll... Um, what do we get there? there, there. And you can't quite catch that. And someone says, just bloody shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to shoot you! <laughs> <laughs> but Hilda goes, fuck! <laughs> right down, um, and crack! Bang! Goes a pistol shot. Why the heck? Why are they shooting? Why? What? Uh, this Who's is no f- time to be in the dress. Who's fucking Someone <laughs> help me! <laughs> uh, crap! <laughs> Tonk into the side of the barge um, as Blatilda shouts, Shit! <laughs> <clears throat> Birdie! You can see them quite clearly. A whole bunch of milling soldiers, not looking very sure as to what exactly they're supposed to be doing, because the barge is now almost a full barge pole away from the jetty and is beginning to shift. These aren't marines. These are not people who naturally are going to swim in their half plate et al. Um, uh, So they're sort of looking like they need orders. The only one with a pistol, the officer, has just randomly fired over at the barge. Um, The other officer who's beside him says, Reload! <laughs> shall we? Shall we shoot back? Don't, <laughs> don't shoot back. Just a warning shot over no, the just, head. just head down. Let's get out of here. Well, maybe just we should go and see if we need. They need more pushing. Crack! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! 
<laughs> um, uh, wow, that was a bad shot. As it spirals on <laughs> off and goes through the sail, making a tiny little hole. I'm going to have to fix that. And the Mennonites will come to the stairs and, and just like come up a little bit to say, do you need any help? Do we need to push? <laughs> uh, but Hilda can't be seen from where you yeah. are because you're right yeah. in the middle. Um, she's currently trying to set the mainsail over at the side. Um, it looks like they're not pushing off anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We really need more bloody crew. We really need more bloody crew. We really need more bloody crew. <laughs> says Black Hilda. She's throwing right down. We really need more. But I'm not strong enough to move this fucking rudder. And well, she sits there kicking at it. The question would, would Matilda not have enough time to recruit some crew? Yeah, well, she hasn't got money. Yeah, not oh. to leave. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll do yeah. that yeah. at some point. Fine. Um, plus, actually, no. Not no. legally, because you have the right paperwork. Yeah. Not yet. It's not your barge. <clears throat> we have to register. Oh, we can hire a legal crew. We are the illegal crew. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, oh, wow, she critted. Uh, good job. As she kick, punch, punch, kick. And the thing lurches, shifts, and immediately, oh, boom! As the air fills the sail. And it immediately, at an angle, shifts down, causing you all to tip slightly on the inside. <laughs> the whole barge <laughs> moves as the lee board is lifted to try and make it go. And then she shouts, Move the lee board back down before we topple! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Sailing test, not a good one to fail. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck it up. That'll be a fortune point. The lee board. Is that a fortune point? No, I can't count fortune point twice. But do you not have advantage because you got the last? She passed the last one. Yeah, it's stressful condition. Uh, it's it's uh, only in combat that you get. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but then it'd be um, easy. It's just it's a stressful situation. You uh, just don't have advantage. Of. No, so um, my sail is forty two, and I rolled. Oh no, I tell a lie. My sail is forty eight. Yes. I got oh! Oh! I forgot. I had to lean back for I was just about to go. <laughs> no, because that'll tip me into bad things. Uh, isn't that what we want? Uh, what you want? <laughs> the lee board is slammed, pushed, and then pushed back down, causing the whole of the barge to slap back down into the water with a slosh. Um, it's not going to tip now. That huge lee board will keep it in place as the barge well, moves on. Happening, will we'll scamper over and hold the BB to make sure it's. <clears throat> She's um yeah good move. Uh up above, she is cursing. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's not imaginative. <laughs> um, <laughs> but definitely cursing. Um, mm. Over on the bank, um, you hear, anyone got a boat? No, no, send word, you hear the call. Send word to close the gates at the other end. Oh, shit. You're not concerned at all. No. Okay, lovely. They take freaking forever to close. Mm -hmm. Almost two hours the last time <laughs> you saw it happen. Um, these are clearly outdoor soldiers who have absolutely no awareness of the local issues in the slightest. Which is as, plus as the way. time it'll take for a messenger to get there Quite. on yeah. foot. As, um, yeah. as, as outdoor soldiers running at pace, yeah. they know how to get this done <laughs> as they go running along the docks. Well, we go. <laughs> um, okay. As you slide underneath the enormous bridge that dominates the center of Ubersreich and then slip your way off downriver. You are making your way off towards the first of the canals, assuming that you are um, going to be taking the normal route. And I believe that canal, I think it's the Grey Lady Canal, is indeed the Grey Lady Canal. Uh, have a wee look at the old map, because it's always nice to do. And um, the Grey Lady Canal, which arcs through um, a quite a lot of space. Which you may get picked up with soldiers by if you're not moving at a good pace. Um, so something we should probably look at doing at some point is repainting the barge, just to look different. Um, and also, uh, it's quite likely that if people, n well, if it's been flagged that this has been picked up. Oh yes, I need to I need to add some more context actually to this. Um, I'm not sure now is the time. Are we under fire still? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, fine. Now might be a good time, actually. Um, <laughs> You're drifting off out of the Uber's right. We didn't yes. finish the story about your father. We got distracted by the wedding it anniversary. Happens. It all happens. It's okay. Um, thank you for worrying about me. I appreciate that. Um, I was fine, though. Um, yes. Um, oh, yes. So, interesting things. Number one. Um, uh, one second. Again, packaging. Where is this conversation taking place? Probably so down, you'll be down, hearing down, this yeah. one, sadly. Yeah. You'll be yeah. above, yeah. I will. I will uh, got this. Join in, then. 
<clears throat> right, piece of paper. Uh, nope. No. no, I've had the patient for a while. Um, this means the bonus is legally ours. Did you forge it? Well, I didn't forge it, but my father paid somebody else to forge oh, it. Oh, great. <laughs> that was Greta's idea. It was actually. I'm a little bit disappointed it's already been done. No, I'm, it's good that he had the same A little idea. disappointed, only a little. All right, well, so there we go. So that's that. So we're fine. So we don't have to do that. More importantly, it means that we don't have to go to a place where you can actually do that, which is Camperbad, oh. which is obviously, as we've talked about, very, very obvious and not wild card esque. Yes. If that makes sense. Might I ask where it's been registered? It's Kemperbad. It's been uh, Kemperbad, so it's, so it, it's like we've been there already and don't have to do that, which is nice. Excellent, well done. Um, yes, but we do probably need to make the boat look slightly different, mm. just to, you know, mm. Also, I think uh, I have someone sending me messages to Kemperbad, so at some point we might need to go buy it. Okay, but we don't just have to, to get the check. boat registered, so that's good. Yes. And okay. also and why means, we should make it look different. It means we can sell the wool. Yes. Wherever we like. Useful. Lucas comes down and, hire crew. and says, Yes, remember Brutal um, uh, Day once. There's a rather that. brisk no, wind up on the deck. If you fancy being up on deck, it's rather nice, actually. Oh, okay. As he right. says as he comes down and goes, uh, I would like a refill, sir. Uh, mm. we'll do, I'll take it upstairs. We'll go upstairs. We'll go upstairs. Mm. Um, we'll by the way, that reminds me. Um, remember the the, pur the purple hand? Yes. People? Yes. Got stuff for that as well. Nice. Yeah. yeah um, you go. It, well, I mean, I don't have much more new news except that um, I don't know if Emmanuel spoke to you about it. Are you all up on the deck? She's, she's yeah. Um, yeah. up on. Oh, you moving back? Well, we're moving marvelous. up. Yeah, because yeah, I can't have yeah, my yeah. Parody. Parody. <laughs> same place as you guys. <clears throat> Not sure if she told you about this, but yeah. she's been looking into them as well. So as Emmanuel. Long as, yeah. So as long as we are also doing that, then she's happy to help us in that search. Oh, that is good. Emmanuel, who is currently helping the occupation of Uber's Reich. Not willingly. Not willingly. She doesn't like it. And, and is trying to stop the tensions with your father by good. stopping uh, Dabinik attacking Neufalil. Yes. Excellent. All right. Ideal. And I will tell you for why that is good. Why? Um, so it turns out my father might have had a little bit of a... Um, well, actually, my aunt, to be fair, maybe about 20 years ago. Was it that far? No. Ten, Not quite that far. 10? It was quite some time. It was like 10, then 6, then 3. Yeah, correct. Basically, over the last decade, um, my father and family, I mean, they didn't see fit to tell me, which I was actually irked at somewhat, and then we had a bit more of a conversation. Didn't shout at me, though. Allowed me to call him out on that, and did not shout at me. Were you rude to him? Um, no. Mm. I don't okay. think I was rude. I was direct. And um, Speaking of direct, get to the point, girl. Yes! <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, he knows to deal he with. knows these purple hands people, um, and so does my aunt. Uh, and technically, she sort of started everything up a, a, a little bit. Um, what? No, 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 sorry. What? What did they do ten years ago, or whatever you said? They started this cult. They started investigating it. Started investigating it. Right, I thought you said she started it. No, that's no, very right. much what you said. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you what you said. Put the hammer down, father. <laughs> Go ahead. Is your aunt married? Yeah, yes. Um, no. She was. She who was. was. Who was she married to? Um, she was married to a local lord. As, uh, let me just double check it because I have it here. Uh, married to uh, Stimmerswald. Stimmerswald. No, it means nothing to me either. Never met him, actually. Um, but she is, uh, or was, well, she got a bit of Dwarven sort of lineage. Not lineage, but, you know, like strong connections. Doesn't matter. Um, she was at the Vaxala once. And Rob one Tower. that's what I said. Um, <laughs> and one of the local lords um, basically put himself forwards to ultimately suggest the edict that has gone out, right? Mutation should be legal. Okay. Mm -hmm. She took this as a very bad thing. Um, might have gone a little overboard, because basically she followed him from that situation and in the dead of the night, in an alley, took him to the edge of his life. Um <laughs> In the ability, well, I know, tell me about it. Quite a hardcore woman. Um, <laughs> Very much your father's sister. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, bit rash, which I don't think he approves of, but I think he also does approve of. Okay, Ed? Yes, sorry. Um, <laughs> he had and was being manipulated by a individuals who had tattoos of purple hands, and he had a purple hand upon his person, right? End of it. That was but the end of it. An actual 
No, no tattoo. tattoo. Okay. Like the Just like the ones we discovered. Tattoo. Sorry. Yeah. I mean that does explain why. I mean your father was. You know, the last thing he told me was to ensure that I wipe out each and every one of them yes. without any mercy. <laughs> so that's that, what that. he said. Hunt them down. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, time passes. And once again, they raise their head in a few other areas that then becomes settled. I'm doing the quick whistle stop tour here. And the last thing was a altera- uh, altercation, sorry, um, which basically triggered the idea of everything that's happened, the, the occupation of is right. Yes. Um, he does know an individual who's quite high up, and I am surprised at this. Mm-hmm. Um, Von Alsi, the general, the famed general. Uh, Lord Empire, Lord Warfare, Warfare, either will do. I know that now. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you about it, but... You know. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've done your role, you big cheeky, uh, big cheat face. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how many successes Four. in each case, Three. and on what skill? Six. Empire. Warfare. Okay. Lord Warfare, um, he, if it wasn't for the close, very close relationship between the ruling Imperial family and the Hellborgs, would probably be Reichsmarschall. Um, he has more victories under his belt. He has done more in terms of impressing the general state armies as a whole and is generally well regarded. Um, he is, however, the almost exact opposite of Helborg, Kurt Helborg, the Reichsmarshal, he's not a fine swordsman. He is not a fine individual combatant. Mm-hmm. What he is is very much a thinking man's yeah, general. Mastermind. He holds back and he thinks, and he has managed to pluck victory out of defeat multiple times. One important fact is he's also Mermidian educated from Visenland, rather famously so, and has made several speeches about how Mermidian tactics are significantly more applicable to many of the situations the Empire faces than the standard Sigmarite defence or Ulrican assault. Mm -hmm. And he has many examples that he has drawn from for his own experience to explain that. In your case, General Alsi um, is known for his many successes down in the Grey Mountains in the south, where Alsi itself is, high up in the Grey Mountains. Uh, he has faced off against Greenskins, against Beastmen, against Bretonians, and has, in almost all instances, succeeded. He also, somewhat, somewhat controversially, often chooses defeat on purpose to ensure that he can get a later success and has been, as a general, spoken about somewhat poorly in some quarters because he is willing to sacrifice lives, which is the opposite of what many Sigmarite doctrine examples suggest. No, defend, protect, defend, protect. Almost the opposite. Victory, victory, victory. General Manassi. He has a tattoo on his hand. On his hand? On his hand, the inside of his hand, my father discovered it during a handshake. And obviously he has had a little bit of an interaction with these people before, um, knows a bit more about it, and, well, basically went away from that with just the information of it. Nothing else. He has not taken any sort of action. But um, good to know that he is actually in on this. Um, Von Valfen and Von Elsie are very much at home. Von Valfen was a very a fine general, but was forced into retirement because he slept with Kurt Helborg's wife. And... Um, <laughs> As if regret to go. Oh. Um, and I think only probably was saved by the fact that his wife is of the imperial line. Um, but uh, he is considered by the mercenaries, I would say, one of the finest generals, if not the finest general in Reichland, if not the Empire. Yes. Um, so. What? So he's in a cult. Yep. Well, that's just marvellous. So yeah, the, the cult have a member who is, yeah, as Anna Menowite has just said, one of the finest military minds. Mm-hmm. That's cool genius. And presumably was part of the mastermind behind taking Uber's right then? Mm, it feels more political than warfare. Um, that actually sounds right. How that to take right. a city <laughs> that can't be taken. It would be exactly the sort of thing he would probably do. And indeed, <laughs> that... Um, that chimes very strongly with yeah. his standard military tactics. Because Elric had no. Because it was like, almost bloodless. Uber's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was no sign of pitch battle. Mm-hmm. There was not like mm-hmm. it's not a city that an army's going to. I, I had a theory about that. I didn't want to ask your father about it, but I had a theory that his father deliberately left it 
knowing that it would have come to war and lives would have been lost unnecessarily. And so he just made the decision to leave it and leave the gates open. That's not what he claims. No, but I think that's perhaps what he did. Uh, it doesn't look like a city that is exactly easily taken. Mm. And from my knowledge of, you know, I mean, it, loose knowledge, but it hasn't been taken except for general, a, an yeah. orc overrun. And, and General Von Elsie would have known that about your father because Von Valfen, also a general, was quite uh, knew his father's style. It's defensive. He hunkers down. If he thought he couldn't defend it, he would re- withdraw to preserve that life and defend New Falyong with a full complement rather than waste lives. Not to mention that New Falyang is really the heart of uh, well, exactly. The and and uh, Alsi, Von Alsi would have known that if he knew your father. And it strikes me that these men, they're all of an age. They've all grown up together. I've got a question. Politics. It's more your thing, to be honest. Where does the emperor fit into all of this? So part of that, and part of the reason why uh, father thinks that he's been targeted, because. Um, during those years, that decade, where there was a, a clandestine campaign that I, I think was being waged against him, which has now become a very physical campaign. <laughs> um, <fine>. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there were many attempts to influence the courts um, during that time, and I think they may have succeeded. Sounds like it. Yes. So, 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 what you're su- are you suggesting then that there is this cult that has been for some decades attempting to influence the courts and has finally succeeded? Oh yes, you have no background knowledge of this, do you? Absolutely none. No, it's <laughs> fascinating and horrific. Yes, yes, <laughs> very much so. Um, that's and it would explain everything that's happening in Uvs, right? Mm-hmm. Not I also think as, as well, though. I think it's not necessarily just personal against your father. I think it's also the symbolic significance of Uvs, right? What's symbolic about and, Uvs, right? And well, also. Oh, sorry. It, it, it's, it's not widely known that the, 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 the High Cathedral in Old Dolph would dispute it, but those of us who know know that that's where Sigmar was born. That's, I, where the, that's where the Empire began, was in Uber's right. Well, I always thought that that was a bit, you know, we tell that to ourselves. No. That's where um, Sigmar was born. But you also... Know this. And it's where the Empire began, and it's where the end of the Empire is beginning. But also politically it is wise because um, the person to whom your father would complain, the Archduke, uh, in the normal course of things, something has happened because of the Reichland Diet, the Prince of Reichland, Prince of Altdorf, he would complain to his Archduke, but in this case the Archduke is simply a courtesy title because of what Magnus did to the von Valfen. Yes, and is, is also stymied by the fact that his daughter is... <laughs> his daughter is a hostage and he is in the bad books Taking with the generals because of the Kurt Helborg situation. Oh I goodness. suspect that that was a manipulation of the man. Um, I have a question. I know this is very important, but did anyone who spoke to his dad ask about my parents? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Gross. Evil. laughs> I oh. did Emmanuel not no? no? He hadn't seen them. Oh um, I'm sorry, Yumi. I did I did think about it, but the reason why I didn't is because well, um I think my father might have had a little bit of a dalliance with your mother, maybe at some point. Oh, scandal. Yes. I didn't really want to. <laughs> Swamp <laughs> shell! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. Okay. I didn't want to I didn't want to, you know. But wouldn't that make more sense that if they were on the run they would come here? Or try or maybe I I really don't I don't with all this and all the conversation and, and with everything that no, I get it. Me. I know that there was a lot going on. No, 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 I don't mean that. I just, I don't understand where, where, you, where your parents fit into it. I'm worried they're dead, to be honest. They were targeted on the same night that no, they, I understand they came that. to you. Um, but, well, perhaps they also, if, if, perhaps they also knew about the cult. Maybe anything, did they ever say anything to you? No. Um, but... You know, the the Purple Hand people had, had, well, I overheard them saying that they had kept me alive on purpose. So maybe they were, they did stumble across something. I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, I was hoping somebody would have found out something. 
<laughs> Awkward! <laughs> if I, if I, if Sorry. I, if I, if I the baby been, crying now. <laughs> if I had been them, if it would had been me, I would have gone to Marienburg. You get there on a quick boat. It's outside the imperial borders. There are other embassies there that you could seek aid from. That, that's where I would have gone. And elves. And a big Nepanese community. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You could hide there better. Okay. So. We we did, that did happen, right? We did meet in yeah, yeah, Marienburg. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, the barge makes its way off through the night and you witter around in circles around many of the same sort of things for a while. Poor birdie doesn't get a great deal of sleep. <laughs> Poor birdie. And a decision point arrives where you and Blathilda have to decide whether to go into the canal system, quite predictable, move down the river, also quite predictable, but in both directions you're going to be potentially stopped. Much easier to stop a barge in a canal than it is going down the river. Problem is, if you go down the river, you've got a very long way around before you ever get to your intended target. Well, we Tilda hasn't connect. even really thought about it. She's thinking, I'm just going to go straight into the canal system. Have we Have we told Blue Tilda that we don't need to rush to camp about. <coughs> uh, we're well, not that, 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 we can. that would be the Grey Lady Canal, down that way, down that canal, through Dunkelberg, up down the, the River Grizzin, until eventually you arrive there. That would be one way, or alternatively, literally forever through the darkest, most dangerous waters that there is, over by Castle Redguard, all the way down there, all the way back. It will take not just a few extra days, it will take freaking forever. Plus, dangerous water, very expensive um, mm. uh, tools to pass, uh, or canals, which also have expensive tools, or alternatively, risk it. We put wheels mm. on the boat and we go across land. Love it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> land ship. Marienburg land ship. Where's yeah. the first Probably place salt. that we could get uh, through the canals? If, well, it's just outside Ubers, right? We yeah. go there, and it's the Grey Lady Canal, which is there, moving into the canal system there. Yeah. And you connect through the two rivers onto the other side there. Yeah. yeah, the first town that we get, we can paint the boat and get things sorted. Yeah, because you'll need Because uh, I wasn't there for the conversation, which means Blue Tilda wasn't, so she doesn't right. know. But... But you might not want to stop inside the Duchy of Ubers, right? Mm. Whether it is or not. Um, <laughs> hanging around waiting for a paint to have some splashes on yeah. the boat. Now I could burn the hull. There are other ways to do <laughs> it. Like scorch it. Yes, exactly. I mean, yeah. like, and then the wood will be blackened, changed. Isn't Dunkelberg the place that's famed for its like bleach? Yes. And bleaching stuff. Mm-hmm. So, so maybe, maybe we do it in Dunkelberg. Dunk it. <laughs> dunk it. <laughs> dunk, dunk the barge dunk the barge in Dunkelberg. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So our uh, Blatilda will just enter the canals if no one um, yeah, intercedes. Well, time seems of the canals. essence. So I w- I'll I'll tell Birdie about the the paperwork as well. And um, Birdie, I don't know. I, I you you're asleep at this point. All right, gone. Oh wait, <laughs> and you won't uh, won't know till the morning whether you get caught because you're sailing through the night. Fortunately, through the canals, it could hardly be easier. Mm-hmm. Assuming the wind, of which it is, we're down in the Borberg land. It's why the canals are here. And hopefully, we'll have some kind of head start on word. Um, An Alamanoite will probably be Yeah, but be they can just go by horse straight across. Oh, but famously, horses are slower than barges. Ah, oh, that's 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 one hundred percent not true. Suspend <laughs> 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 so your disbelief. Can um, you just like <laughs> maybe fire to Alamanoite make us go faster? Oh, maybe on the horse. No, yes, she probably like, will like, be. Moron. But also, like, probably the will be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But a week if there's trouble, she'll pop up. Right. So I'm dicing to see which directions they go in and how good they are at prediction. Now, fortunately, um, let's now do Mr. Celestial, who cannot track you. Well done, Alamina wife. Um, Nice aura. (laughs) Yeah, indeed. Um, Which immediately means that some of them uh, think that you're going that way, some think you're going the other way. Some will uh, head off towards the Gradient Pass. You'll go down that direction. Um, I'm going to randomise which one with Celestial's with. Um, the Celestial, idiotically, is coming in your direction. Mm. Um, and then I'm going to do an intelligence test. Okay, Celestial chooses to go in the other direction, having got there and not seen you. 
um, thinks it's that way, is <laughs> confused. Everyone listens to the Celestial because they know what they're talking about. Um, <laughs> For non uh, huh. non Warhammer lore people, Celestial Celestial Wizards can, can see the future. future reading. Blue Wizards, oh, okay. kind of sometimes sky. right. <laughs> <laughs> like astrology. So um, another type of seer. No, 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 they're seers, basically. Yes. It's one of it's one of several of the things that they can do. Uh, they also do um, <laughs> um, and our poor old uh, blue wizard who is chasing you with some outdoor soldiers makes more mistakes than you can imagine because all of the spells are failing, mm. and has come to the conclusion that means you're almost certainly nefarious. Um, I mean, why would all the spells be failing otherwise? Because um, you're shit at your job. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know a blue was after them, but he did know a blue was. Yes, he did know there was a blue in the castle. Yeah. Yes, he did. He was doing a massive <clears throat> ritual spell, so powerful. But given the timing, you are going to be fine. By the next day, you will be three quarters of the way through the canal come the morning. You're absolutely knackered. You could really do with some sleep. Insurance test, please. Birdie. Ah, uh, three successes and a crit. Oh, oh you're crit, you're fine. Job. Let's go for Blitz Hilda. She's not really anyone's henchman, so I'll she'll do the rolling there and passes with no crit, but more than enough successes. She's done this before, um, and through the rest of the day, they'll make your slow way over to Graustad. Graustad is well named. It hangs down in the uh, Blitzfelsen Ridge, between that and another ridge, and the canal passes, the river goes by and the canal passes right between the two. Um, and <clears throat> what can we say about Graustad? Um, beyond being the uh, home of the Halls and Hours, um, that some of you may have heard of recent, but I won't say who, because you haven't seen your individual Uber's right tales. Um, it's... Uh, a relatively small town, um, known for its uh, high but wooden walls that many would say wouldn't be very effective. I, I didn't do the w- wooden work joke. I, I tried, but I thought, nah, I'll avoid <laughs> it. wouldn't be effective. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. Um, the number of barges that are passing through this area are significant. The Vorbiglin canals um, carry not just 10, 20, 30, but often many, many more barges. I mean, it's very easy to slip in amongst all the rest. This barge, for all it's easy to repaint, turn it into something else, um, has already, it's, it's, it's not a, hey, there's nothing on this. It's clearly a barge that's unowned, um, if you see what I mean. Further, when you arrive past, you have paperwork. Well done. Which is good. Uh Um, And as you pass through each lock, you can show. If you didn't, you have to make excuses. Doing it for salvage. We're heading over here. No longer the case. Mm. And as people are coming in afterwards and they're checking out the locks, did anyone pass and say this? The answer is absolutely not. Um, The other thing to be aware of is obviously we have left Bogenhafen and we were known to be there and the people that have organised everything know that and know that we probably have left on a barge, so that it's likely that they will be looking out for us at Kemperbad, knowing that that's going to be mm-hmm. the position knowing where that. we would end up. Yes. So right. that will possibly be one of those situations where there is a trap, and we decide whether we want to... Swing it or not. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then, it's therefore, trap trapping you know them. About it. Exactly. Well, we've had that discussion before, haven't we, about... <laughs> yeah. The best way to spring the trap is to yes, put your head in a line. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out well. Right. <laughs> be more careful this time. I'm still pondering. That. So, given speed appears to be of the essence, I imagine not stopping at Graustad is the preference, mm-hmm. particularly because it's on the edge of the. Well, it's actually part of the Duchy of Black Rock, truth be told. But it's actually it, part of your father's territory. It's, it's all a bit. Would it be easy enough to pick up here. some crew here? Um, would it? Time. Hmm. And we wouldn't want. We would want to make sure that whoever we took on was trustworthy. Um, Greta has an opinion on this one. If you want one, and she'll mm-hmm. say, "Don't hire for anywhere it's, that you are like, not not here. It's, it's some of our. Yeah. Right. I well, think we should. Well, if... where they won't be expected to wait for you or uh, be spies or. I mean, everybody in Uber's right just now is a spy or a spy spy. <laughs> that is true. Do you, um. Do you want to get off? Yeah. No. Where would I go? Well, I don't know. I just uh... no. She is safer with us as soon as she leaves me. Her father's wizard will trace her. Yes, yeah, true. That's true. She has to stay with us, and I will not abandon her. All right. Look or at the, the baby. baby. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie picks it up. It's kind of squishy. 
Put it down, Birdie. Gently, <laughs> gently. There. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just heading towards the next set of canals. Yeah. The next set of canals head towards Stimmigan. Yeah. Down this way. Ooh, there was a person head. from Stimmigan. The there point. was Falkenhayn, because we're in the Duchy of Falkenhayn. We're moved oh, out of the, the, right. the big bird mask. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you went to a party, whatever. Quite the, his friend made a boar come to life and like scare all the people. It Someone was really, stabbed it. It was really nice. funny. The the he, like the captain or the guard or something. Well, he was an idiot, but yeah. What's the? <laughs> no, no, wasn't me. <laughs> the Uber Stimmigan Canal is um, one of the widest of all the canals um, in the system. It can actually take over three barges in width. It's very wide and. Uh, according to Blutilda, they were all supposed to be this wide to begin with. This is the first one, what we dug, but money. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you slim it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's later ones were, mu- it was just slow, apparently, when they were getting built. Um, the Urban Still Game Canal is almost directly straight, cuts right through, as I said, between the great spurs of the mountains. So you've got, a, for a while, mountains to either side as you glide through um, the canal and then head straight towards Stimmigan in the distance. Stimmigan is nowhere near as large as Uber's Reich. It's still a relatively large uh, town, indeed, officially a city, um, in the empires with the Falkenhains rule. And uh, you eventually go through a walk down into the rivers that lead up to uh, Stimmigan itself. That's the river Uber itself. Uber, pardon me. Um, again, the question, do we stop here? Do we plan to sail? Do we plan to pick up crew? Or do we go, no, let's just keep on heading down towards Dunkelberg um, and pass by. Could we go, there's a, there's a small river section, 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 <laughs> went really South African then. Um, there's a, there's a river that crosses just if That's we go north way. and yeah, yeah uh, it doesn't uh, connect for as well. Yeah, that, that yeah. goes Does into that the, 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 it drains out in either direction. Yeah, um, it's okay. She can explain it. There ain't no connection um, through you. You either go all down and then down south. Okay. Or north, pardon me, or you head down through the canals. I think we should go to Dunkelberg oh. and yeah. just press on to Dunkelberg. Mm. Yeah. The more, the... Has it been two days on the boat? Um, it'll be there three days. Three days. How, yeah, how, probably still quite close. How mm. close is that to Hendor? Hendor's way past, down by, you know, way, down way down. Yeah, yeah, further, but it's, yeah. it's further down. Yeah, it's quite north. a bit further down, yeah. Um, Leopold, do you, do you, when, when we have these crossroads, quite literally, well, crossroads, can you... It doesn't work that way. Yeah. No, no, no. It's no. I wish it did, but okay. it doesn't. Yeah. <clears throat> this would be the best way. This would, yeah. All right, yeah. fair enough. Point Further, is. even if it did, wouldn't work because she's here. That oh, won't. And even <laughs> if it did work, you shouldn't do it. What? So many what? <laughs> negatives. Ah. Yeah. Um. Because um, um, then you'll start doing the things that can be predicted. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um. Next, we have the Stimmigan Canal. Um. If we're heading towards that, we'll worry about all the tools and such like afterwards. The stim again moves down through this way and we'll be going for another couple of days until we eventually arrive at Dunkelberg and its great hills. Dunkelberg, Dunkelberg <laughs> is ruled by the Emperor. Mm-hmm. Um, his agents directly rule this. It used to be ruled by yeah. somebody knows who used to rule here beforehand because it popped up in one of the individual streams. Emmanuel. He was the Duke of Dunkelberg. Who was? The Emperor's brother. Oh, oh. that Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel. Yeah, I didn't know it yet. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, not Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Matthias Ferrand of House Holswig Schleisten. He was going to be emperor before, <laughs> before he became when a witch. When did he become a witch? What? what? Uh, uh, when did he become a witch? How long ago did he lose Dunkelberg? Now yeah. we're putting them. Nope. No. 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 Or empire. Or no. Nah, it, nah, that, that's not something we picked it's up. Sure. Right. If you've got. You're going to need history. history. Going to catch it. You're going to need something in the reason. Lower Empire would need around about at least thirty advances before you can do the well, test. But if but anyone's got thirty advances, no. I'll. Um, what I can do though is I know at one point where he hadn't lost it, um, which was Abercorn when she saw him. Ting 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 ting. How long ago was that? Mm. Okay, so you're talking around about twenty-five years ago. Yeah, certainly, twenty-five years ago, he wasn't uh, like magically gifted at, at that point. So 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 when the Elector Count of Nung yes. was going after Dunkelberg yes. was before he lost it. Yes. Interesting. 
Are we just pa- passing through Dunkelberg? Stopping, crewing, anything else? Once I was involved in a war relating to Dunkelberg. How are we doing for supplies? It's a difficult time. <sighs> Pardon? How are we doing for supplies? Um, I'm assuming that you've been picking up some loose supplies along the way. Oh. Um, we'll catch up all the money afterwards. <coughs> if, this is, if this is owned by like Old Dog, maybe we should keep going. Well, it's not owned by Old Dog, it's owned by the Emperor. Yeah, so if it's more likely to have agents who are loyal to Old Dog or the Old Dog troops. I think we're going to get that wherever we go. Can I have a lore heraldry check from anyone with lore heraldry? Lore heraldry. Oh, this could be great. Two successes. Could be Shoot. Great. Marvellous. Relaxed. Um, pardon? Uh, are we chill? Are we, are we, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eight successes. Fuck me. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My two's looking for Okay, so um, <laughs> you, recognize, um, uh, you recognize the banners of House Halswig Abenauer. Okay. Um, related to the Emperor's banners. Um, you recognize them there. The Emperor's sister, Elder, is of House Halswig Abenauer. You don't just recognize that, you know exactly who it is. And what you find most interesting is that it's marked as Duke by the way that it's split. Duke and the personal heraldry of Wolfgang. That is the current heir to Reichland. And apparently, since you've been moving around, he's somehow managed to be given Dunkelberg. So the the heir to Reichland. Reichland, and that's the emperor's nephew, mm-hmm. not his son, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who's only the heir to Reichland, he not the heir to the Empire, but marked as his successor as the heir to the Empire, that would be better. Is here. Is here. So it's not just that he owns it, he he's is here. here. His we actual cannot stop. His <laughs> actual flags are flying here. Although if they did something to the previous guy in Dunkelberg to turn him into a witch, maybe that's what they're doing to this one. Here. And that's not Sounds barmy, but actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, but also, that was just a supposition on my part. It may not have been, it may have been um, environmental to Dunkelburn. I, well, I yeah, just sure. supposed that someone had made him a witch. That wasn't <clears throat> literally just a supposition. Well, I mean, the thing is, from Seems what I like know, it. is a lot of magical comes from the blood. And it may be that people develop it later in life or early, as was my case. But Already what we found out is that there's, what, two that we know of within that bloodline Mm -hmm. in the span of, what, one, two generations? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot for a Maybe it comes from the Bretonian blood. Um, uh, I'll have a good Greta in position here. Uh, That's actually, I didn't know this, but particularly disturbing because the Emperor, after all, is the one who is going to be making the primary edicts and could overrule Magnus' old edicts. Mm Mm-hmm. And that would be probably what his brother would want in terms of if he wanted to be emperor, which if he's controlling. Can inherit. Well, it's, it's mutants just the start. Mutants are legal. Maybe then... that's what they're heading towards. Perhaps, perhaps that's the issue. Perhaps, do, perhaps the emperor is actually a witch. Do people hate us that much that they'd rather mutants first than wizards own and land? Yes. Do you know why? Because all the time babies are born mutants. All oh the time, the people. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it in a. I, I'm saying so. More so this people, baby here, mutant. No, no, no. Mutant. All, no, mutant. no, <laughs> Eric. All the time across the empire, in villages, every now and then, babies are born mutants, and people have to make the choice to hide it or to put it out into the woods and let the beastmen take it, or That's to not, kill it, could kill it, or to kill it. Yeah, but they don't. Yeah. Right, and because of that. Mutants being legal will be more popular more quickly than witches being legal. Well, also, if you're talking about witches in Herod as well, that is something that largely is only of interest to the great and good of the empire. Exactly. The common person on the street doesn't really care. No. Well, the other thing is, is, and this is both a compliment and reasoning, um, if you had claim on land, and you also have the ability to literally destroy thousands of lives at your whim. That is a bad situation to be in. But so, does the empire not have that power anyway? Even well, like he controls all the seven colleges. He tells them. He goes. Oh, oh, sorry, eight. <laughs> I don't, well, yeah, I don't count the grey. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just says, right. We're at war with this fella. But you all keep yourselves in check. That's the whole point of the colleges, isn't it? Ever since the the big, you know, the debacle where you all, well, basically kicked off with each other in the streets. and It's the story that's put out. 
Is that not the case? I mean, I'm not too far up, but from what I've heard, there might be factions within the colleges that are going a different path. And this is not just these rainbow. Um, uh, Latilda says, "Are we staying or going?" Oh, sorry, Latilda. Uh, well, hang on, one second, one second before we do that, Lucas. Very quickly. Uh, yeah, yes. Hello. Um, um, hello. Hello. That banner being here. Uh, what's the political impact of that? And I would like to use Lucas's schema talent, please. You can roll it. Tell me what your rolls. They see me roll in um, three successes. I think it's much more significant than you'd first realise because uh, Wolfgang Holzberg-Abenauer has been somewhat notoriously famously underneath his mother's thumb. And she lives in Castle Rightgard, quite some distance from here. Her heraldry isn't up there, which means that he's here by himself. He is not under the influence of his mother. Good. So the political implications, I would say, are potentially devastating in that if he is someone who is attempting to spread his wings, he might be making all manner of foolish mistakes just now. Or alternatively, he might be just in uh, rebellion with his mother, has purposely moved himself on, used his new found position to separate himself from her. I mean, he's of age. Or if he's not under the influence of his mother, maybe he's under the influence of someone else. It very possibly be the case, yes. He's doing a, uh, well, for lack of a better term, he's doing a me. Um, yeah, but he's he's wow, doing it properly, and he's got himself <laughs> he's got himself some land. It's, uh, does, it's anyone, right. does anyone know if his mother is the same as Martina von Valfen's mother? Uh, Martina von Valfen. Who's that? Um, I don't. I I, I'm, I haven't even really heard of her. But I would suggest probably not. How old is she? Oh. I mean, that would make it the emperor's sister. No, that can't be correct. Right. That can't be correct. I must have got the line wrong somehow. <clears throat> Maybe um, this is the time we swoop in and convince him to be on our side. No, well, uh, well, we're just moving. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, that's that's sort of what I'm thinking. Is is uh, this is a? I know, I know, it's you're you're somewhat risk adverse, but if we're looking at <laughs> if we're looking at a at, at what we've been told of these situations, jumping off a boat and. Uh, I don't know what I'm suggesting. Either it feels like we're going towards kidnapping or maybe assassination. I don't know. It's he's, how did you go from? I'm, I'm sir. He's the imperial heir. He will have more bodyguards than we could possibly count. Mm -hmm. he sure. Won't even be able to sniff his farts. But, <laughs> but anywhere close. and magic. That being the case, is and magic. Talent. Yes, but but that being the case, is that's that's exactly what we're talking about in terms of not being predictable. Nobody would do that. You'll be insane yeah, to do that. Like, 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 please <laughs> take the ball on. But that's predictable yeah. and unpredictable. Yeah, like, like no one would shove their head in a blast furnace, by the way. But, that but let's not do that. that. <laughs> well. I, I hear what you're saying, and you're thinking along the right lines, but you have to look for the weak targets, the, the things that are unpredictable because nobody's realised they are important yet. He's done. He is important. We need to find the person who isn't yet. We find those and influence threads that, the and we yes. And also, we could put Elric's head in the blast furnace and then he would probably be fine. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> What's a blast furnace? <laughs> like a really hot furnace. I'll take that oh, means um, we're moving. We are yes. moving. Come on. Seal test, please. Not fun. I mean, can we have got into the habit, as I discussed before, of me doing my nightly auguries? Yes. So can I do that before? I've got yes. a fortune point. Hold oh, on, you might get a free, yeah, free, you free are. fortune point. Yeah, you get a free fortune point. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, because that 55 would have been very bad. Well, That's even worse. <laughs> it's not a double, though. But it's not, it's a, not a fumble, it's not worse. Could you not bump your 55 fail to a zero success? With a fortune. No, because it would still be a fumble. Still be a fumble, 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 yeah. Yeah. fumble but a fumble is but a success. Yeah. So you, you do well, but damage the boat, for example. Oh, um, I don't want that. A uh, Yeah, yeah, quite. Fumbless. Fumbless. So. Yeah. Like <clears throat> Fumbelina. We eventually <laughs> arrive well, at the good old style. town <laughs> of Grisenvold. <laughs> having made our way all the way through the canal systems, having not been pursued and caught by anybody. Thanks, Alan Minaway. And we will... Take up what happens there after the break.
The town of Grisenwald lies on the confluence of the Grisen and the Reich, the largest river in the old world. At this point, the Reich is over a mile across, where the Grisen is almost tiny by comparison, a stream that's still nevertheless more than big enough to take multiple barges side by side. And indeed, that's the direction you're making your way down the Grisen towards the Reich and the town that lies in the confluence of the two, like a triangle. It's relatively large, but not that large in the greater scheme of imperial cities. It is, however, relatively important in terms of the politics, and we've been talking a lot of those, um, <laughs> in that it's the most southerly prime estate of the Reichland. Well, Dunkelberg's a bit more south, but it's right up the most suddenly on the river and has been taken by one family or another multiple times down through the centuries. At the moment, it's held by the Feifrauchers, who are actually a Wiesenlander family. They come from the south, but they swear to the good old Prince of Reichland. It has been contested hotly down through the centuries, and the current rulers there are... Horny. <laughs> <laughs> The heir to the current ruler, <laughs> as anyone who watches you may stream will know, um, certainly has a way of trying to impress people. But that's not something we need to consider about today. Rain is following, following, falling from the sky. Grey clouds have gathered. The jetties and piers that stick out into the grizzen, although most of the grizzen is relatively flat to the bank, so you can just pull up in the side to one of the many merchant houses that can be found down that side. But the big public open piers and jetties are out on the Reich itself. So you need to go right down, out, and then into the main part of the city uh, to find yourself some jetty to pull yourself up onto. But Hilda already knows where she's going. Oh, we'll be going over to uh, the ones that are near the walls. She says, because they're, uh, well, Apparently we got paperwork. Uh, they're the ones, however, that are open to those what don't have the right to trade. We now need to get ourselves um, the right to trade a merchant's license. We own the vessel, but we need a merchant's license. So you can pop into the merchant's uh, guild here and give it a go, I suppose. How much do they run? Oh, they can cost a lot. Uh, cheapest, again, Kemperbad. Uh, they're, they're, they're trying to get everybody, really. Mm. But... Uh, the Kemperbad one allows you to trade anywhere on the Reich or on the Talabek. No, just the Reich. Uh, if you get one from here, it's a Reichlander uh, guild one. I believe the local guild has got uh, uh, a deal with Altdorf and with Karaberg, which means effectively you can use the same license for the lot. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's not a bad place. Pop in the Merchants Guild, have a chat with them, maybe get one of those. You could sell off um, what we have here. I, I ain't really um, my area, though. Uh, but, you know, money. I've got the outfit for it. Um, does Greta have any experience in this? Because she was talking about selling and buying things. Uh, she was, actually. Oh. That's a fair point. As uh, Greta um, says, um, pardon? Do you have any experience with the merchants? Mm. Mercenaries. It's almost the same thing, I suppose. Uh, I'm very good at bullying people. Mm. That could be just what we need. Yeah, but I'm. If if you would probably don't want you to go off the barge at the moment with a disguise. Uh, well, it depends where you're mm. going, right? Like mm. it mm. would. You would have to go around. Well, I mean, you 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 present a good option, especially with the, the outfit and everything. I would recommend not. No? It's no. very distinctive. Oh, yeah, right. It's not the distinctive, it's the issue. It, you tend to find there's a 10% tax for anyone that's not from Reichland. Oh. God, these people really want to keep people down, don't they? Um, yeah. it, it's, just, it's just how it works. So that could be the same for me. Oh, good. 20% tax for you, I don't imagine. So I, I know not it's like when you, I mean, if you're doing it with mercenaries, it's always like this. They, mm. they are bigots. What about uh, a reduction for a piece of Sigma? Uh, no, yeah, it's illegal. You're not allowed to trade. You're not? No. But I could perhaps go with someone with else and advocate or never no, have. You're not allowed in the merchant halls. 
Well, wizard? Yeah. No wizard? Right. No wizards right. either. They're, they're, they're um, dangerous. So they're you and me. They might influence the trade. Greta. And Greta. Oh, and Lucas, of course. Mm-hmm. Does Lucas have oh. any expertise in this one thing? No, I know exactly who will do the job well. Um, she might not be okay with doing the job because it's technically not in her job description and she would probably be the last one to argue but still we could ask her um lucas d- uh, d- dr faster where is she at the moment um she's uh downstairs trying to ignore the fact that people are trying to engage other things <laughs> she's um only interested and i quote in speaking to the boy all right <laughs> But you have... I am not asking her. Are you sure? <laughs> he says, I am absolutely certain. No, no, um, you can ask her. You I mean, you see the boy. Yeah. 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 Well, you should definitely do it. Ask uh, All right. I'll okay. go with you. Yes, okay, fine. You have something you wish to say, Mr. Salomon? I, I just think we should establish if any of us have any skills or credentials that would be helpful in merchanting. I don't know. I might have an agile skill of... Blue Tilda. <clears throat> That's an odd thing to see. And that wasn't from Gratilda. Who was? Um, that was from Greta, as she puts on an accent. Nice. She says, I've, I've been dealing with the uh, merchants and the uh, mercenaries for it. Of course I can do yes. this. Because none of us know how much it's worth. You walk in there without the knowledge and you just be laughed out of there. I, I, can, I can, I'm just not sure it's wise. We could disguise you. I've got hair dye, it's not like I can use it. We've all got stuff. Yeah. yeah. We could disguise kids so quite good at it. Babies are very good at disarming men. Mm. Very good at disarming men. Would it be um strange though to, to be going in to have that conversation with a child on arm? Of course it would. That'd be why you disarm them with it. Yeah, but I mean out of I the would ordinary. much rather leave the child behind there. I would, I would like to be if I'm leaving the barge, I would not like to yes, be associated with the Yes, I do not think child. you should be associated with a baby. So I'm happy to stay behind. And look after. Uncle Leopold will sort that out. Um, I'll tell him. Right, so. Tales about Sigmar's. How close is the merchant (laughs) go to the place where the barge is? Uh, She says, uh, Matilda, it's um, just down there. There's a merchant's hall over there. You can see it. Just pull up my big old map because I made a map of Grisenwald around about 20 years ago. (laughs) And it's still online. (laughs) <laughs> um, and it's uh, yeah, it's the one I'm going to use at least for the moment. I might pop it back up on my blog again as well because you know, just, it's as, um, just yes, a highlight. Here. Yes, are we not getting a bit sidetracked from the real reason why we're here? Like, yes, very useful to get a merchant's thing and, and be able to sell all this, but that's not why we're here. It does also give us a cover as a reason. There is an issue. Here. You have spent somewhere in the region of seventeen gold crowns just getting here, yeah, because of all the talks. Stuff. How much do we get for the horses? Pardon? Less. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> out of curiosity, how much? <laughs> yeah, you got yourself around about 15, because they were indeed slaughtered. That's not so bad. it's paid for that. Yes. As, as I said, not my suggestion of what we should do with the horses, but Lucas made it. Oh, how much did Lucas steal as well? Um, Lucas has got himself quite a lot of um, uh, cutlery. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you may well take out her bundle as well. Silver chalices. Um, young Freud styled goblets um, in a big bag, what he did steal. Um, and that's just sitting down in the bottom of the hold at the moment. Um, well, good to know. Well, if we. I. I, I we do need to sell this wool. We need to get ourselves established, and then we can go about finding out where Black Peaks is and just generally doing some. Well, how about I do some inquiries? In, 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 you discuss amongst yourself. I'll do some inquiries amongst the merchants. It's going to be too hard to find. Mm-hmm. She says, "I'll go see what I can find, and I will throw my can rather impressive deal maker." So can we seven. disguise her first, though, please? <clears throat> can we yeah, disguise yeah, her absolutely. First? You go for that. I'm going to do a quick roll. I think called deal maker. Um, deal maker skill, yeah. That uh, talent, pardon me. Mm. Seems useful. Yeah. Well, um, it allows you better haggling. Um, you're, oh, you're better at making deals. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's quite literally what this is. Yeah. She, quite literally. Yeah. She's um, she's the one who organised the entire marriage between your brother Very and true. Uh, the trots. Can, um, this is her job. Can Lutilda help her with a bit of knowledge and assist? Um, yeah, that might actually be useful. Don't sound so surprised. I do occasionally yeah, yeah. come. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I, I was being surprised at myself for not thinking to do the same thing. That wasn't a comment no, no, in your direction. I was like, oh yeah, that would be useful. Should have yeah. thought of it. Um, <laughs> thanks. Uh, right, so uh, who's disguising her up then? Who's is got? It, uh, has anyone it, got Master of Disguise? That's a good start. Y- yes. 
Well, there it's we go. You, You're you going to be in a far better <laughs> place to help um, turn her into something that is perhaps uh, not looking like herself. She is not going to be too happy wearing merchant clothes. Um, she's not too big. She's about five foot four. How big are you? I think that's about the same as me. Um, yeah, she might be able to fit your clothes. Oh, well, she can um, There we them. go. Um, right, so, wow. She's going to be getting a license I critted. Oh, nice. yes. <laughs> so while you're deciding what you want to be doing, holy cremoleons! Um, I'm going to roll for the total successes just so we can add it up. Um, that's uh, 1528. Well done. Nice. Um, the yeah. Is that the trade grooming? Uh, uh, yes. I've got a henchman spot going. <laughs> 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 henchman! And uh, that's two successes. Superb! Oh, that's a ridiculous roll. I can assist you with trade grooming. Mm. I've got two. I, no, do the roll. You can add an extra plus one. Um, each one will make a difference and make it harder for anyone. Perception test to break through it. No. Um, no, slap my hand away and tell me to step away from her face. Yeah, four successes. Four, so that makes it five in total. Yeah. Excellent. With the trowel. With master of Disguise sitting on top as well. But Master of Disguise is largely for you brush. being able to not use a disguise kit, but that's good. Um, all right, so um, she's off to uh, do her inquiries in the Merchant's Guild and find out how much it's going to cost to get themselves an actual guild license. These are often purchased. Um, it's just simply money to sell up and down the Reich. Uh, it's a tax. Shall, so, I, shall I have a look and see how much the goods are worth that we have? If you want to, yeah. take. do yourself an evaluate test. Evaluate! <laughs> how many advances have you got in evaluate as well? Five. Ex oh, five. Oh. No, five advances. <laughs> yeah, those five successes. I was like, yeah. Seven successes. Okay, good Doesn't stuff. Lucas have evaluate high as well? Uh, not as high as me. Oh, mm. How many advances has he got worth noting? And he's got more advances. My Lucas? Lucas. Um, I will um, modify some of the results accordingly. <laughs> well, while you're checking that, um, so while you're checking that, what is the plan? What is everybody intending to do now that you've got the rise of Grisenwald in front of you? The older town down near the bottom, the newer town that spreads out, and then the walls that cut it off from the rest he's of the. He's ten. Uh, it's it's ten. So yeah, it's got yeah. ten. Yes. So yeah, do a test for him as well. How long are we planning on being here? You've no idea. Oh, uh, five yeah. for him. Five successes for Lucas. Superb. Good. I'll do for her too. Excellent. So. Um. Yeah. So, uh, you reckon you're? You see, the problem is this is outside of your normal. Awareness. You don't go around buying wool. <laughs> you just never have. <laughs> but you you literally never have. But you did a sheep. But you, you sheep. <laughs> are aware that people do buy wool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he buys wool products. Um. Yeah. Well, quite. <laughs> a cloak. Marvelous. Um. So you are aware that this is not going to sound necessarily useful, that they are not worthless. <laughs> and indeed, you are aware that an entire barge full is probably worth quite a lot. But most of your guesses at how much they're worth are guesstimates. Right. Um, in that you're like, well, if there's this much wool, how much is that going to take to make something? Someone's going to make a profit. Now, it's going to be around about, what, 40, 50 percent, 40, no, maybe 20 percent, maybe. Mm. So if there's that much, how much is, your lack of knowledge of how much wool it takes to make an item of clothing is sadly shining through. Unless, of course, you've got some tailoring skills. No. 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 So, yeah, sadly, you're not quite in the area to get this. So you reckon you're got. Oh, I am supernumerate. Oh, well, you can Which count coins it. fast. One. <laughs> well, no, it actually adds one to the uh, sell bonus. So you get one oh, on that. Oh, 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 nice. If that helps. No, 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 that does. Um, so you reckon, I'm going to modify that slightly, you reckon that each one's maybe worth a crown? Okay. Um, so a quick tot up, 40, 60 of them. That's maybe 60 crowns worth of stock here. Uh, nice. I mean, that, that sounds good, but as is often the case with trading, are you selling in the right place? Is this the right place to sell? What if they don't want wool here? Mm. <laughs> Buy high, sell low. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and you're a little bit concerned that you might be in the wrong place to try and sell it. Does Grisenwald need wool? <laughs> Does it need wool? Uh. Does Blatilda have any ideas? Um, Blatilda, uh, I've never traded in her life. Uh, Greta? Boza. Greta is off currently organising yourself. Uh, did, Lucas, um, did Lucas help? 
Um, uh, yeah, he helped. Um, that's that, where you, so nine the yeah. sixty crowns is is with Lucas. Involved. Yeah, that's whereabouts you think it is. Right. Lucas is very much well. You know, it can't, I mean, it could be less. I, I honestly, don't. it does I mean, have etiquette servants. Well, you know, when I'm speaking to the servants, I'll certainly make sure I look right. It, he would need merchants. Merchants is the big one. Uh, and even uh, etiquette, etiquette, would really etiquette would just make you blend in. And Greta does have etiquette merchants. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, yeah. I mean, she might know better than us. We don't need to know right now. Nevertheless, what are you doing? What is the plan after this? Like, what direction are we going? Well, well I think the first thing we're going to do is try and find this woman, right? Yeah, and she was. Oh, in... I guess it depends on what she's. Yeah. Black yeah. Peaks. I mean, it, it may be that we're yeah, fleeing uh, Grismaldus outlaws. Mm. Um, <laughs> it, it does seem somewhat to be de rigueur for us. I feel that we just need to start inquiring about Black Peaks and yeah. maybe. Maybe, like what is that? Is that an inn? Or or a, I have no idea. Why don't we go to an inn? So I'm imagining start it's an area. Yes. Why yes. don't we go have a drink, have a meal, and Listen see if out. we can find out? Yeah. Sounds is that good. Mm. You find yourself. Who's who's staying with the baby though? Oh yeah, I'll stay. Uh, it's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> well, no, 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 no I volunteered. The I baby volunteer. can come off the barn. Although just I am not with Greta. Probably um, best at gossip in the group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but Hilda's happy to look after the baby. That means she doesn't need to get off the uh, boat. Cool. So, yeah. And Doctor Flasters. Doctor Flaster, Flaster um, will happily look after a baby, but largely it sits in there. Doctor Flaster doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I should probably ask for something. Yeah. Uh, uh, Doctor Flaster, we are heading obviously into the into the city town. You are exceedingly loud. I'm quite aware of what you're all doing. Right. Okay. Do you want I to think anything? actually half the rackets. <laughs> Do you want anything? Um, no, I think I'll be fine. Yeah. As long as you can maintain the supplies here, there'll be enough for me to drink and eat. She says, I don't require anything else than what's here. Good. And also your time. How long do you intend to be away? Your studies these last few weeks have been interrupted with your long, boring talks with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, it, don't know is the answer in terms of timing, but I will commit at least over the next ten days eight hours worth of study, and that is my commitment to you. Right, so approximately twenty percent of what you were doing before. I call that a lack of progress. He <laughs> says. <laughs> 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 Alright, swap. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. If I have a timetable, I'll be able to fix it out. But when you find out exactly what your timetable is, yeah. please yes. come back so that we can organise. We have to deal with human anatomy. On um, this time, we're dealing with the leg. Last time, all you could do was blush. <laughs> so we will stick in the lower half this time. Feet again, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that's her done. And the catcher's sister. The catcher's sister is one of the larger inns on the docks. And it has a spill out into the wet, rain drenched dock lands itself of tables that are now completely drenched. (coughs) Wooden umbrellas that really should have been up aren't leaving them soaked. On the inside, though, it seems relatively buzzy and you can smell the food coming out. Most importantly, it doesn't smell of stew. Betty. It's been a while. It's been a while. It has. So, catch your sister. Would we like to go there? Yeah. Sounds, sounds good. Yes, by the river. By the riverside! Good view. Probably, I don't know if this is real in, in the old world, but still, probably does excellent fish and chips. Is that a thing? I mean, surely that would be a thing. Fish would be a thing. Yeah, and potatoes. Uh, yes, quite. So, making our way there? Yeah, Birdie's going to bundle up her hair into a snood so it's less obvious. So she can't dye it. Yeah, uh, and but when. she cut it and put something over no. it. Interesting. Like, it just won't cut or it grows back. No, she, she, won't, she cut won't cut it. it. She <laughs> won't cut it. No, she can't cut it. She won't cut it. Yeah, okay. yeah. anyone tries. <laughs> no. It, Honest question. And Alan, I know I need to be like fully scarfed up once she's out of the boat. Yeah, you may back in her urchin clothes, I guess, because mm-hmm. her merchant ones. Are so. you a bright wizard by any chance? <laughs> no. Oh. 
I was just wearing plain breaking the law. Clothing. Breaking the isn't, law. Isn't that illegal? Uh, I've been told no. As long as you're considered. If you're not on duty, then you don't have to wear and identify yourself. So I can't cast spells legally, but I can. But if you did want to cast spells, you could just push your sleeves up to identify nope. yourself. No, I'd have to be wearing. You'd have to be wearing uniform. a uniform. But remember, Helena, was she wearing? Good point. But she is a grey wizard, so that's sort of there. It's not about the school. It's what my school taught, but yeah, right. apparently it's an interpretation of a rule that doesn't exist. What about your stick? You taking your stick, staff? We love the staff, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not an idiot. Bra- braises? Uh, no, no. It's a bit difficult to explain. In terms yes, no, well, that was my yeah. thought. Mm. Yes. Right. As you get there, um, you can see the uh, sign for Katya's sister is actually hanging over another sign. What does the other sign say? I don't know, it's covered by Catch's sister's eye. <laughs> Can I get a sense of what it says? <laughs> nope. It's definitely a sign. <laughs> um, a sign is it nailed on? Can we kinda... <laughs> um, Well, it's quite high, but right, you're also staff. quite tall uh, yes. if you wish to uh, reach up. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to kind of start prizing things off, but if I can see. Um, uh, you lift it up, and uh, on the other yeah. side, there's a crossed fork and a knife. Is that like a, a cross, cross. wink, wink, cross sort of cross? It could be. It's difficult to tell. There's no signs there that, no signs there that you spot. Let me double check that one though. Mm-hmm. Are we going in? Not going in? Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. head in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're um, heading on in. Boom, 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 boom. On the inside, it's all men. Who all turn around and look at you like this. Welcoming. Mm-hmm. All right. Local in for local people. Yeah. A lot of people here, though. Is there a pianist who stops playing? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, shame. Sadly. <laughs> uh, uh, each no, and every last one of them is uh, bearing a similar hook symbol. Fishing hooks. Uh-oh. Oh. You think you're possibly inside some form of guild house. Uh, she'll she'll regroup. <laughs> and be like, I don't think this is for us. Oh, well, let's go, Quinn. They all just look at you. One of them waves you out. All right, evening, gents. <laughs> they just all look at you. Backing out. Backing out. <laughs> Crump, and then. Not an in. Yeah, surely that should be, if they're not welcome, just put, like, oh, members only, or... It's some sort of sign. Well, yeah. Yeah, they were wearing little hooks, like, maybe... Oh, I mean, we're on the docks, right? So Fisherman's it's... Guild or something? Yeah. I mean, we're far from Altdorf, it won't Steve be that. Steve I'm sure it's not that. <laughs> Pretty much, it's an Altdorf gang. Yeah. Um, and we are very far from it, but right. right in the river. Yeah. Well, let's go and look for another more welcoming... Yeah, that's a bit of a shame, really. Yeah. Mm. Make your way around um, and up um, uh, a main street into an old, oh, an old temple of Sigmar over there. Uh, it's an old one, though. It looks like it's been abandoned. It's no longer used. It's crumbled down. The tower leans badly um, over to one side. But just beside it, there. Uh, oh, this is an eatery. No doubt about it. No sign. No sign. Oh, it would have had a sign, but the sign looks like it's been stolen. <laughs> Probably done by that other place. <laughs> Very possibly. <laughs> I'm so confused by this place. Uh, we may as well just go in. What's the worst that can happen? How big is this place? Much yeah. smaller. Tighter, small front door. No, I mean, Griswold is large. Uh, Griswold's relatively large. It's not huge. Um, I mean, uh, population is, is... It's a town. It's big. Does it have a big temple of Sigma? It might somewhere. Not that you can see from these streets. Um, you don't need to go in further. Mm. What's, you just don't know yet. Um, just, just what's it sort of the comparison to say Altdorf or Uber's Oh Rome? no, Al- Altdorf is an enormous city. No, I don't mean in Uber's right. Uh, yes, I mean in it's difficult to describe vibe. I suppose sort of. <laughs> so sort far, of, you're in an old like... town which feels really mucky and not too sure. Um, it feels a little bit like some of the darker streets of Uber's right at the moment. All right, is it like well built? Does uh, it... this part not particularly, but it's a town. You've got different parts that you can go okay. to. At the moment, we've only seen one part. Um, but we do have an eatery beside us. Definitely smells like an eatery. 
Does it smell of stew? It smells of food. Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe stew. Should we just opening? Just go in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's deeper than it initially appeared. Goes right far back. The back of which is half full of people. Um, the near part, there's a counter. Uh, where there's um, a woman sitting like so, looking somewhat bored with a bonnet on her head. Um, she looks up at you and says, uh, Good evening. Hello. Hel- uh, yes, I, I suppose. Are you, are you looking for a table? Yeah. Yes. Do you have one? <laughs> yes. oh, I think we actually have uh, 39. <laughs> good, good. That is... Also, super new <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. He says, a party six. Is Lucas with us? Lucas is probably with party us. Party seven. Greta. <laughs> oh, no, she's off doing that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Party seven. Yeah. And yes, dogs. So... Oh, yeah, meat pie. Let us not, let us not forget meat pie, because really? I often do. We just wait here. Says, is there anyone else in the restaurant? Oh yeah, as I said at the back, um, it's half full. But it's a restaurant, not a... It's a restaurant. And it, so it's not like a gossip... It is not no. a gossipy place. We're not going to be able to gather gossip from the table. Well, That's we can... not the done thing. No, but we could look at the menus. <laughs> and, talk to, and, talk, and talk to the uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. We're just literally trying to find what may be just the name of another yeah. tavern in city. Yeah. Or town. Uh, a server. Come this way, please. Takes you over to a uh, table. Oh, very good. Just sit here, a table or something. We'll just get you set up proper after. And he says, we with you very momently, momentar- momentarily. <laughs> and off he goes. Thank you. I like him. He has oh. a fantastic voice. <laughs> he should tell us his life story. <laughs> I, I agree. We should ask him his name when he returns. <clears throat> uh, you've got a relatively long table. He comes along, pops down some rather blunt um, uh, knives and forks. And says, so what we'll all be looking for is he drops a menu down the table. Drinks, I suppose. Oh, uh, I imagine you're looking for a nice big, uh, ales. Yeah, I'll get you some ales. He says, oh, also, welcome to the Cutch's sister. He says, <laughs> <coughs> we all missed you. He says, we'll uh, talk to you very soon when I get your ales. Off he goes. <laughs> Right. Why have they stolen my son? It seems like a strange thing to do. <laughs> and then I'll change any of it. <laughs> we'll ask when he gets back. Could there be maybe some rivalry? Some restauranty rivalry? Well, well, they didn't, didn't exactly rush to service. Did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Comes back with, um, Oh, it's Pitcher! Puts down some stuff. Excuse there me. You... Yes, what can I do why, for you? Why is your sign, the catcher's sister, on the other building? Which shouldn't be. But it'll be those little biggers again, won't it? Oh, he says, I'll be back in a moment. And off he runs. Here, 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 yeah. I think they're not decided again. Well, that would explain it. <laughs> now we can't then, take our food order. Also, why would but, the people inside have right, so confused? Cheers. <laughs> um, over by the front desk, there's annoyance. And shaking of heads, someone going out, and then oh, you don't want a chance to know where it was put, do you? Uh, yes, it is on a building that had a crossed fork and knife symbol. Oh, the head. bloody guild! Oh, pardon me, is that the guild? Um, so I'll be back with it. Thank you very much, sir. Right, he says, uh, well, we have food to order, no? He says, well, we just need to sort this. I'll be with you in a moment, sir. And he mm-hmm. runs off. Seems like somebody's playing a bit of a trick on these people. Or whether it, it would be whether it's on these people or on the other people, or like us. You walk into the wrong place thinking, hey, this is going to be a nice time. Turns out, guild house, everybody looks at you and you feel very awkward and have to walk back out again. Indeed, Indeed. there are three urchins right now laughing at all of those possibilities <laughs> thinking that each is one of the most hilarious things they've ever seen. Look at them coming out! Ha ha ha! I was surprised we didn't hear them. <laughs> As um, comes back, a completely different person says, uh, hello, would you like to make your order? Yes. Um, what is it that you would like to order? What's the menu say? Yeah, the menu has a variety of relatively basic uh, offerings, ranging from meats, yay, vegetables, oh. um, <laughs> and 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 three separate stews. <gasps> three separate oh, separate you can't stews. have three separate including stews, including a good solid Just put them fish on in one bowl head and I'll stew. Oh, That's how gosh. it's named, indeed, a fish head stew. Um, it's, it's good. Um, uh, a horse meat stew, of course, which is perfect. And finally, the absolutely marvellous mixed vegetable stew. 
Do they do like a tasting platter of all three? <laughs> uh, they just no. whack them in a bowl. Could, could you, could you make one for us? That would be ordering three dishes. He says we could order three dishes for you. Well, then we could try them all. Well, I'm going to have, have the vegetable expensive. one, so you can. You're welcome to try some. Horse or fish head. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might go for the vegetable one too. To be honest. Okay, just. Do they just have any like plain fish broth? You know, <laughs> just fish. Like, yeah. Um, you, you want just fish, not well, the fish head stew? N- no. You sure you don't want the fish head stew? It's very good. Oh, all right, I will have the well, fish. Heads. What do you do with the rest of the fish? Pardon? Uh, uh, we just get the fish heads. Right. Just thought maybe there's. Spirit. But what else is on the menu apart from the stew? Um, there is beef. Mm-hmm. There is pork. There is meat pie. That is it. No meat, meat pie. pie. <laughs> no. It doesn't say what sort of pie. Just meat pie. <laughs> I'm not actually that hungry. No. Okay. Fine. Um, pork, please. And yes. probably the beef. And uh, right. Yes. Probably the pie as well. <laughs> yes. Definitely, definitely pie here. Pie. Yes. Yes. And he pops off. Oh. Yeah, I'll I'll try the fish heads too, and that fish. way you can try. I can some. have the horse, mm-hmm. and then I can try. It's recommended. Well, I've ordered the vegetables, you please, and pops off too. Get the all important bread. food bread. orders. <laughs> Do you not want just black bread? No. No? No, 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 no. You said that with more revulsion than than the <laughs> fish head stew. What's wrong with bread? She's off carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like bread. Really? Not really. Oh, okay. Why? Does it taste of death? No, I, I, I just don't like bread. All right, fair enough. Uh, is it an elven thing? Well, yes. <laughs> Lucas comes and sits down. He'd just been off for... A moment to himself. <coughs> he says, um, uh, uh, right, ah, drink, excellent. But you told her anything for Lucas. No, I've ordered things for Lucas. <coughs> You're very good. As um, he drinks ah. and he goes, um, so, so have we found out anything? He says, um, uh, have we established um, your quarry? No. No, we just ordered food, Lucas. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's good to know that you're, uh, what was it you said earlier? Um, on target. Or oh, whatever it was you said, sir. Well, we've got to eat. Yes, we've got to eat. Yeah, we've got to eat. Yeah. No, no, you're right, we do. Um, he it's says, a process. Uh, um, um, have you discovered anything? Um, I've discovered that I'm very glad that I went in the street. Because I was very sore. That is all I've discovered. What? what? <clears throat> and that's I, it. Evolutions. Oh. I took a piss. But why would you be sore? Um, I, I was run through um, just a few weeks ago, and I'm still rather tender. Oh, part of his uh, when he was kidnapped. Yeah, what Which, happened with which that? time? No, um, apparently he was kidnapped again. Oh, it was it was bandits. Um, uh, but, but fortunately, the good doctor, um, uh, she managed to persuade the bandit leader, who uh, had himself some sort of fruit fungus, um, that <laughs> she would be able to resolve the issue. So uh, after the first. Then the second, uh, but on the third treatment, um, she snuck in there and um, took her, sna- her, her knife and drove it into his palate and then the brain. Nice. Um, and then uh, 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 took me out and we did what I think would be nicely described as our runner. Do doctors not swear some kind of hippogriff oath or That's something? That's what I said. <laughs> um, and it turns out, no. Uh, uh, she said, and yes. I, 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 I asked and I said, surely. And she was like, I'm not a shallion. And I have been captured. And I was like, well, there. Yeah, My lord, you should be careful with your studies. No, yes, I am. She doesn't seem happy with you. Nope. <laughs> I like her more now. Yes. Yeah. Yes, quite. Mm. So um, I, I was both um, exhilarated and intimidated. And, and uh, stabbed. Uh, well, no, I, well, no, I had been stabbed He's previously. Oh. Um, when, when, <laughs> uh, they were going to Do, ransom uh, me because of my accent. Oh. They may have... You're not telling the whole story, though, are you, Lucas? Well, I'm telling them part of the story that matters. Fair enough. Is it salacious? Oh, yes, very much so. No, no it's not. He nah. says, excuse me, I think I might Is need another... Is that why you're sore? <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. And he gets up. Right, I'll sit you uh, and then, I, I think I might need another um, moment with the gentleman's room. And he walks off. <laughs> so? <laughs> oh, um, I believe the doctor made the argument of we might be both dead in the morning, so let's enjoy this time. 
Um, and yeah. yes, um, I think he might be a little bit sensitive about it. He does have a wife He's and right, children. Yeah. Yes. Um, but again, if but they could have been dead. Did they exactly. Asked? So so that that position was taken. Um, Gentleman comes out. Um, carrying class. a tree, drops down, <laughs> food, yeah. food, food, goes off to go oh, and get excuse some Excuse me, my good man. Yeah. Uh, we're new in town and just wondering, is there uh, near Black Peaks? Is is that an area in this town? or is the Black Peaks? He says, Black Peaks are hills. Hell, I thought so, yeah. He says, you go out to Walls, see the big Black Peaks? That's the Black Peaks. I appreciate it. He says, Thank you for your time. <clears throat> and um, pops off. Comes back, more food, more food, more food. Pops off and on his third run, as um, Lucas comes back again. Feel much better now. Good. Oh, did they order food? I've ordered. I ordered for you. Do oh, you what want, did you order? Do you want pork, beef, or pie? Whichever you don't want. All right. Um, Would you like to try each of them and then make your decision? Could we do like a? Uh, we'll we, get a yes. plate and we'll yes, I think so. Let's let us Genius. We ask anything else of the gentleman before we. Uh, does it come with veggies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no. No? No, you, we could order you some specials. Yeah, that? yes, please, if you would. Uh, I'll show this special for you. Box, box. Well, that wasn't on the menu. I would have had vegetables. Well, there's vegetables in the stew. But but I didn't want the stew. You, you want glass. some of the vegetables from my stew? <laughs> the ones that I've actually asked for are for you, by the way. They're oh, thank you. No, quite alright. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> How, how is the food? <laughs> it is surprisingly bland. Oh, has, has Even the fish head salt? stew? The fish head stew is the opposite. It mm. is surprisingly fishy. And when you're <laughs> making your way through and little eye bubbles oh. across. Oh, oh, no. oh, that's the best bit. You yep. eat oh. it and then yeah, yeah. it comes <laughs> and it pops. Yeah. Pop. Pop. Nope. <laughs> nice. It's it's really quite good. Um, you expected it to be much saltier, but then obviously it's river freshwater fish, um, and it lacks a lot of the saltiness that comes with that. And you were a little surprised at that, but the flavour is nonetheless particularly. Can I impressive. have a taste of your stew? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I regret that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's quite good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this is really rather good. The pie is, um, what sort of pie was it? Meat. Meat. <laughs> I, I choose to not think about that. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very good. So, what have we learned? What have Black, we learned only for? Black Peaks are hills outside right. of town. Black Peaks. Oh, well, that's a start, I suppose. But we if they're just hills, then... That's... Maybe there's a house up there? Oh, the there's a little drawing here. Maybe that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> what is it drawing? Is it it's a like drawing a of hills. It's a, no, it's a drawing of hills. <laughs> <laughs> but Next also, to it... a fork of a river. Are oh, black? that's good to know. Oh, yeah. There'll oh, be yeah. some kind of manner. There'll be something, because it's that... very rare that an area has its own stationery. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well said, sir. In my experience, yeah. that is true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <clears throat> I mean, um, maybe we... Do we look for the name? The family name. There's probably a manor mm, or something. I but think, if she's I know, dodged... I know. Well, we could, move, we could move closer to that area. If we know where the Black Hills are, and we go to that side of the city... Mm. Why not Why not inquire for Town Hall? Mm. Well, yeah. well this because is, it might get back to where they were yeah, looking so for. This, this is the thing. Do you think you could see if there's any of your shavier compatriots perhaps in town that you can maybe have a word with who might be more discreet a bit judgy uh, yeah. shady yeah. in that they keep to the shadows mm, okay backpedal <laughs> backpedal <laughs> no. literally what I meant yeah I mean we could try <clears throat> well <clears throat> if you're waiting for the meal to be over and if it's just mm -hmm. um, her heading off into the town looking for a crossy naughtiness mm -hmm. Um, it's a matter of you back to the bars then, I suppose, oh, no, once she heads no. off. Now we're going to try and inquire to find somewhere to send a message back towards... A post office of, mm. or some equivalent. Yes, there is one. Uh, you will need to do a gossip test to see if you know where. Liverpool would also quite like to yeah. send something, so... Should we go together? Yeah, do you want to do the gospel test? Yeah. It is. <laughs> Sadly, though, past the hour where you're likely to get in because it's relatively late. But still, no, we know where it is. It's a good yeah. thing. If you send with the Imperial Post, 
Right. If you, if <laughs> they're you, open. <laughs> they're open. Yeah. If you send to the Imperial Post, you won't be putting your own names on it. No. Right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't put any name on it. Yeah. Could I put E? In, for who, are you, who are you writing it to? The Magister. You're very to, nervous. Yeah, the Lord Magister. If I actually, I'd best not send a letter. I'm, actually, thank I you am, about it. Well, I am I'm, nosy because the Imperial yeah. Post Service passes through the Spymaster Black Chamber in Alto. Yeah. And any letter that looks of interest, they will read. Right. Well, I'm not going to send it to him, actually. I'll send it to uh, Cordelia. So it wouldn't be... I'll still say, I'll say E. E. Grunfeld. <laughs> Elric. Elric the G. <laughs> Could you perhaps include an example within it? And you could and say... And then put like E.G. and yes. then underline that. It's like a code. Your... Is that a good code? Fiery friend. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it so I've got a knife. Mm. You could refer to your hot friend. friend. Hot stuff. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. So um uh, eleven successes including a crit. Holy Kermolins! <laughs> Second really high one. Um uh, I, I bump into the, the postmaster. <laughs> Twice. Well, yeah, I'm a... <laughs> uh it's at the Volinger Arms by the North Gate. Um, you're having a little wander around. The town's not actually that tall. It takes all of about... Now, not, the town is not that large at all, pardon me. It takes all of around about 20 minutes to cross it. Um, and at the far end, it's a tiny by comparison to say Uber's Reich or Aldor. Uh, at the far end, um, at the gates, you get talking to the soldiers. It's an easy thing to do when one is a, a, a priest. Um, and it turns out his brother um, runs a post office from the centre of the town. Um, and uh, the man drinks over at the Volunga's Arms, which is just further along the side there. You get to chatting, um, and uh, they have all manner of chat about the old Black Hill. Interesting. The joys of a crit. Love it. Mm. Number one. Deets. Number one. Outlying farms are getting burned. Oh. And uh, the watch... The Fifers, as they're referred to, um, <laughs> the uh, Watch, uh, are having nothing to do with it at all because they're only patrolling the town and they're the only state soldiers currently in place. The Fife Rowkers themselves are not in the town. They have taken their state army with them elsewhere, leaving just the Fifers. Interesting. So they're having nothing to do with that. So that's number one. Number two... There's lots of mines up there, presumably for coal, given they're the Black Mountains, um, which he confirms with a, yeah, they're, they're for coal. <clears throat> uh, although the uh, dwarves what were up there, they thought they were for gold and all, but uh, they sold them. Mine's eyes. I don't think they, uh, I don't think they made a, I don't think they think they made a good deal. Um, they're, you know, find them in most of the bars, bitching about it. Dwarves don't seem to like anything. Long memories, those dwarves. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, I'll watch out for them of all you. Um, they own the mine up there. Where are they? Mm. Outside. Mm. Firefrocker didn't like them, so wouldn't let them in. So they just built their own little town on the outside. About 300 of them there are. Do you know what clan they're from? <laughs> clan drunk. <laughs> he says. Don't know where they got the money from. Everyone reckons they're the ones doing the burning. That's how they got the money. Doesn't sound like it looks like doors to me, but they, they got money. Maybe it's left over from selling, who knows. Clan drunk though, that's appropriate. Place stinks. They don't even smell it, bloody dwarves. We do, though. Don't recommend. He says, of all the places to visit, don't go there, father. You're not going to get much in the way of a conversion, if you know what I mean. He says, <clears throat> and that's it, I suppose. Right, so, uh, anything else we're doing other than back at the barging? Um, uh, would it be worthwhile, just, just while um, we wait for you, you may to clock some of her people, um, 
would it be worthwhile going into sort of a bar or pub on the side of town closer to the Black Hills? Peaks. To Peaks. Like, so like this one? Peak by by. Yeah, probably like this one. And, you know, uh, uh, rub elbows. Bump elbows? Hey. <laughs> Touch bombs? <laughs> What's meant to happen? Um, strangers. <laughs> no, no with other someone else's elbow. elbow. No, no. That's Stop. crazy. Don't, I don't, don't understand do that. that. Don't worry. Stop. It's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I'm sure it's a phrase. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Rub elbows. As in jostling, you mean? Yes, right. exactly. Um, and find out, you know, ah. what's going on. A bit of sort of thing. Basically, go out to the pub yes. for a gossip. For a gossip. Yeah. And I love it. We should find out about these burning fa- burnt farts. Mm. Um, well, I did hear burning farts. Not a good thing to hear. <laughs> and you know, like it's not like my friends would just be like standing in the corner of a shady street, just. Just standing in With case. With a neon sign yeah. above yeah. the Shady people here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I did watch it by <clears throat> weird route. So, um, uh, are you going drinking with someone? Lads. Lads. <laughs> like lads, lads, lads. Excellent. I'm just going to trail in the way because I'm not letting him nice. in my sight. Nice. Um, no <laughs> way. We'd prefer to go back to the barge because people okay, don't good. like elves. Good. Yeah. And you're checking, and you are going back to the barge. Going, going back to the barge as well. What? So um, uh, back at the barge, we'll split this up quickly, and then we'll do you mate, then we'll do the lads, 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 lads and lads. girls. <laughs> um, uh, back at the barge, Greta has um, returned. She's currently sitting smoking on a pipe, um, with her feet up on the um, front of the deck um, on a small chair, um, as she sees you and just waves the pipe as um, you come over. Well, I am now, she says, the uh, proud owner of one of these. Is this what merchants do? They smoke pipes. Is it is it good for the child? <laughs> Probably, in your view, yes. Oh, um, yeah. Get some lungs. Get some lungs <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good old backwards uh, oh. old world views. Yeah, harness them off. Yeah, no. quite. Yeah. Get the, the baby fiery smoke. Oh, I mean, I have no children myself, so. <laughs> yeah, quite. The, 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 child's, the child's down below deck still at the moment. Um, yeah. She's sitting up here um, uh, quite happy with um, all affairs. <laughs> uh, the, the guild hall opens tomorrow, so I can go in and see if we can make a sale, a sale or whatever. I'm concerned that they might not want what we have. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, I uh, had a little ask around, and apparently they'll probably buy it. I'm much more interested to see what sort of things that they have, because if we can make relatively high profit, we'll be able to pay for all of our tools wherever we get. Plus, we also will need to just stock up on provisions for if mm. we will be taking it further up north. Besides, mm. I think it would be rather nice to have some cabins if we can stop into somewhere and build up some cabins, depending on how mm. it all goes. If you're going to be swarming around, if we can get ourselves a carpenter or two in here, it would be mm. rather good. Lutilda's very keen on that. So. Mm. Somewhere to sleep, at least. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, Bl- 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 Lutilda has completely different views. Have you spoken to her about it yet? Why, what's she talking about now? She wants an aft castle. That she can stand on with her bloody ship's wheel. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Huh? It's, she spent half an hour bending my ear about it and asked, who even needs one of these? <clears throat> Clearly, Blue Tilda does. Yes, well. <laughs> <clears throat> she also recommended that we tied the bones of a saint to the mast, so who can say whether that's a good idea or not? Are you not a saint? We're not here. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, 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 oh wait, wait, no, you're not here. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought Bernie had come down. No, I thought Bernie had yeah. two for a second. I got confused. I, I don't Sorry know what castle is. It sounds like it'd take a long time. It's to a build, large though. castle at the back of yeah. the bloody barge. It'd probably take a good few weeks to build. It seems ridiculous to yeah, me. I don't think we have that time here. No, neither do I. Well, so, uh, who knows, but... buying and selling seems to be relatively easy. It's just a matter of going in there. I wouldn't mind at least some support when I'm going in. People that look big and bulky will always mm. be useful. I'm a relatively small woman and they'll try to bully me until I get talking. <sighs> and that's it, really. All going rather well. Meanwhile, do yourself a secret science. A secret science test. Go, go. Uh, one success. Uh, unless etiquette criminal counts. Um, well, it's not a charm test, so mm. no, it doesn't. Um, you go peeking around. It takes you a while. One success. Um, you're going for a good couple of hours until eventually, down by the uh, docks, um, you pass by a big cross 
<laughs> bloody sane again. And you can't, you've, you've been so unsuccessful so far, you can't help but look at it. You go down the side and you find yourself a bunch of smaller marks down at the bottom at the back of this particular guild house. Yeah, this guild house is well dodged. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and marked out clearly at the back with um, a small running cat as well. Clearly someone of the less, let's say, mm, serious uh -huh. minded of folks um, are saying that Ranaldans are indeed within. They might not be happy to see you. Uh, it's fair to say that you are very unlike all of the hooky men <laughs> what were in there. Yes, but that's usually what she's around anyway. Quite, and that's what Secret Signs are for, to hopefully break through those particular barriers that uh -huh. lie between you and what you're looking for. It'll be a cultural exchange. It'll be good for them. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Going to swan back in or are you going to look for some sort of alternative entrance? Uh, if there's some kind of back entrance, you might try that first. That sounds like a plan. Yes, there is. Um, you're going to have to get over a gate to get over to it, though. And that's going to involve climbing. Climb desk, please, if you or choose to do that. is there a lock? There is not. <laughs> it is barred from the inside. Uh, my climb is so bad. <laughs> you get lost practice though. Glad to hear that. <laughs> right, I'll roll it. Um, oh, Wait. yeah, the three successes. Shimmy, hop, hop, hey, you're over. <laughs> Hope you never need to go back. As you make your way over towards <laughs> the back door. on this. Um, and back door, by comparison, is unlocked. Um, nice. Knocking or walking in? I'll just walk in. <laughs> you walk in. Three people turn round and look at you. One literally has a dagger in his mouth. <laughs> um, in his mouth, like so, as he's got a pen in his hand, and he's like, right, and looks up and goes, Who the fuck are you? As um, the one beside him goes, Ah! Um, like that. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't that loud. <laughs> and the one to the other side goes, Uh, you ain't meant to be here yet. <laughs> Says the one, You ain't meant to be here yet. How'd you respond? <laughs> uh, you guys are taking your time. He says, <laughs> another one says, we ain't ready yet. We're still doing all the numbers. As the one with the flag, he says, no, no, show me the numbers. <laughs> as um, he says, you ain't finished them yet. <laughs> Hmm. I'll walk up as if I'm helping. I don't know why I'm going along with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Um, as you come over, it's a lot of numbers and they're definitely adding up to something. Um, as he sits there and he goes, hoo, hoo, he pushes back, pulls out the dagger from his eyes, puts it in. I ain't ready yet. He says, we ain't finished yet. You better go tell him we ain't got everything ready yet. <clears throat> and he ain't getting a full 10% this time either. No, no. You know what and happens. Some scribbles. <laughs> hey, look! <laughs> bloody yell! Yes. You need to do a haggle test. <laughs> do a haggle <laughs> test, please. Do it. Love it. Love everything. It's amazing. Um, yeah, there's one success. Well, well I've got zero successes. That's really unfair. Um, as he goes, all right, I'll mark it for booming 15 then. Like he asked. <laughs> I'm killing you now, though. Guildmaster ain't gonna be happy. You better deliver. If you don't deliver, it'll be on your life. <laughs> yes, I know who to deliver this to. Uh, 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 there we go, get my numbers. Another one just looks at you. And on the other side, the other one goes, You're a bit young, ain't you? Well, you're, you look a little bit dumb, don't you? <laughs> oh. Um as um the one's like uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> right He says, There we go and he passes you over on the papers. Go on, fuck off. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you got the paper. You got fifteen percent. <laughs> <laughs> of what? <laughs> Why? Did it look like big numbers? Okay. Oh, there's lots of big numbers on there. Um, go on, then. Off you go. <laughs> what are you looking for? A sausage? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I wanted to complain, but no, it's fine. Uh, the big one boots you. 
Tip her cap, I guess. <laughs> Tip her cap, going out, close the door. Ooh, successful. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> well done. Well done. Everything about that is fantastic. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Meanwhile, at the topping ram, oh, <sighs> which is um, somewhat salaciously ensigned with a ram doing what so certainly is not a ram, very very poorly. You. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. <laughs> <clears throat> the topping ram. In the inside, music can be heard. A lot of people. And it is closer to the main gates. So, we'll just keep it down to, yeah, we're going in to do ourselves some gossip tests and all the rest. So, do yourself some gossip tests for those of you who are here or our teleporting birdie who managed to get between bars yeah. and <laughs> and um, in short order. Another crit. Oh, you are <laughs> joking me. Roll for your successes, please. Uh, that one. Seven. Four successes. Uh, zero successes for Lucas, and I'm spending a fortune point to Errol. Eight. Whee! Cock up for me. Um, no, not a no. fumble. No, no, I could see the eighty, and I was like, yeah, uh, What am I doing here so again? Elric, I'm sorry, Thank pardon you. me. Uh, Lucas and Gerhardt end up largely just nattering away in a corner, <laughs> chatting Fair between enough. themselves. Talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, uh, <laughs> uh, as he keeps them going back up and down, I'm trying a different beer each time. Mm-hmm. You know, it's actually quite good to try out the different beers from the different towns. He says, I just leave the father to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Birdie, how'd you do? Four successes. Oh, marvellous. Um, four successes, and I would like from both of you just a single sentence general direction that you're looking for, so I can reply to it in kind. Um, yeah, actually, I think he's most interested in the dwarfs. Okay, and dwarfs. Mines. Dwarfs, and mines. Scenario. Love it. Local gentry. Hoping to... Local gentry! Yeah. See if there's any names we recognize. Okay, so, uh, on your side, uh, it's the five frankers. The five Fraukers, um are largely rural here, and they've got an estate just on the other side of a large park that's just off the mm. centre of the town, and they even point out to you, oh, they're just over there. Um, mm. Toil Park, it's just for them. Mm. No one else is allowed in. Gosh. There's all sorts of crazy trees that look like animals and stuff. He says, and there's a pond, and there's like a little rainfall, or waterfall, what you call them. Uh, it, it's fountain. <laughs> he not says. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, oh, we, we take the kids over, we'll tell them to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Oh, look at that. It's a duck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I will say, though, uh, the uh, son, Florian, uh, <laughs> I mean, he, he tried it on with my wife, I'm my mother. Shocking. On the same night. <laughs> we were just in the bakery. He came in and he saw them and he was like straight over there and then his bully boys were like, don't you be trying to hit him. So, so I only spent a single night in the cell. <laughs> Reasonable. Well, well I didn't hit him. I just looked at him bad and that were enough. Uh, so uh, that's uh, Florian. And uh, if I do say so myself, he is a cunt. <laughs> Sounds like. That is it. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. His father ain't never here. He's always down in South. He likes to uh, summer in North. And he goes down to all of his uh, Wiesenlander mates, uh, where he's got a lot of land in the South. It's probably five for land or something. I don't know. But he's never here. So basically, Florian, he's almost due. Is it? I mean, he ain't. He's up here to try and impress folk, are you? He certainly impressed me. <laughs> By comparison, the dwarves. Mostly keep to themselves. He says they don't like uh, mixing with us. Largely because when they do, we tell them to fuck off because they're drunk cunts. Well, they <laughs> really like that here, don't they? <laughs> uh, the worst, there ain't a single one of them that I would uh, sell anything to, let alone buy from. He says, they smell, ever the last one of them. Nope, I don't like them. Stink. Oh, also, they're short. <laughs> their beard. Fill the rats. He says, they're the ones who are probably responsible for the burnings, I say. 
Did I tell you the stink? Yeah, they sold the uh, the mines off to uh, some woman. Uh, says some noble woman. Um, Helsin, I think. I think that's a name. Helsin. It's something like that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't bother with her. Yeah, she swans through every once in a while, constantly moaning about supplies and stuff. Good old crits, give me all manner of crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> She's yeah. not in town just now, though. But I wouldn't know. He says, told you, ignore them. I wouldn't. Oh, by the way, those dwarves, they smell of piss. <laughs> <laughs> says, uh, they're, 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 they have their old outside, something like um, slumbering old or whatever. Sits on the outside. They call their little mess of a, 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 a shanty on the outside, an actual old. And you know what my wife said to them? He said they smell, and they swore at her. No. Oh, by the way, I, I, I brought a wine. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be excellent. Very good. Yes. Um, I, I was I was speaking to uh, 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 the, the bartender, and you know what they said? Mm -hmm. um, they said that the dwarves live in this hole called Kazard's Lumble. Cousin's uh, Lumble. Yes, I was like, I was like, blah, 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 blah. and it tastes like Cousin's Lumble. Cousin's Lumble. Oh, that, that's exactly how I try to pronounce it. Right, strange. Um, that's all I got. Um, I think I've done hard work. Do you, yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like lum, Lumble. Uh, something like that. All I've right. already forgotten, actually. Um, I think we may have on our ninth drink. <laughs> <laughs> I am supernumerate, so... <laughs> I'm super drunk. <laughs> says, I'm drunk enough, I think you should do three consume alcohol Ooh. tests for me, because I've been pretty going at it. Okay, for Lucas. Yes, absolutely. And also with Gerhard, presumably. Oh, absolutely. Do, do we spot... Uh, you you can both do one each. He has had a hearty <laughs> meal, though, so maybe... Oh, it makes oh it he's good. actually... It seems Lucas can hold four. his drink. <laughs> one success. Uh... One success on that. Superb. Ooh. While he's doing that, you may. What are you doing with your marvelous piece of paperwork? <laughs> I'm assuming it's not handily addressed to anybody. No, it is not. Well, I can't decide whether they were the cri like the criminals, <laughs> or if I'm the criminal. <laughs> well, I'm definitely. Or if everyone's criminals. Yeah. <laughs> like, am I? Is this a weird taxing for? The actual people who are taxed? Maybe take it to Carhart, he might know. Or take it to Elemenoi if it's a cold. Or to Greta if it's something to do yeah. with. Um, we run yeah. the bar. Well, I guess we're close. She's really close to the barge. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll just. Stop and by. hop into the barge where Eldrick is. Uh, he is. Greta's still smoking her pipe. Over. He, yeah, he's, he's debating over his letter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Running it in, and we'll see you may come up and go. What? 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 Did you find something? I think that was maybe the easiest swindle I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I just walked in and they gave me money. And, they and gave you money? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm assuming the pouches. There's no pouches. It's just a piece of paper. Yeah. Oh, a piece of paper. No, they just gave me a piece of paper. And the, but I'm assuming it? it's maybe? I don't know. Well, there's a lot of numbers on that. They, it's a guy with a dagger in his mouth. Greta? Is it merchant business? It's a racketeering business. Racketeering numbers. I've been promised 15% <laughs> of racketeering numbers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is racketeering numbers. So, why did they give it to you? Uh, I guess I exude cr crime tension. <laughs> <laughs> ah, etiquette criminals <laughs> pulling off again. <laughs> Sweating why did crime. You, why did, <laughs> why did you lovely crime it? over here. <laughs> well, it sounded interesting. What I've... is racketeering? You what, don't know a racketeering. What is, racket is it where they go around and threaten them and they have to pay danger money? Protection uh, money? The aim is not to threaten them. The aim is just to take the money and no, but, ensure but, that others are yes. seen off. Yes. So, so you've intercepted their promise to pay their racketeering uh, A percentage. Friend? It's a... It's a cut probably it's a from... 15, is racketeering 15 not to say the cut. goods controlled in the market? No, is that not? But racketeering not controlling the market? I do not know. I'm not a criminal. No, no, it's not controlling the market. The market continues on. You just protect it. You protect the market. And the racketeers move through, taking money from them to protect them. Yeah, or, you know, you stop yourself from tripping and uh, 
lighting the building on fire. That's when it's gone wrong. <laughs> she says, but yes, effectively that. But the 15% take suggests that they're doing the racketeering, whoever it is that you got from it. And for some reason, they're giving you 15% of their take. It would suggest yeah. that you are someone that is rather threatening. Yes, and, 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 you, and you're not that person. So that no. person is now missing that piece of paper. Mm. I'm probably I see, and then do yourself a Lord Cartography roll, please. A Lord of Codes. Codes, yes, that's the one. Although they did say... I shall revolt. I was <laughs> early. <laughs> so maybe if we rush back, we can intercept them. Um, five, six successes. Oh, superb. Oh, it's a simple code. And it's a disturbing one. First letter on each line as they're going down. P U R P L E. Oh. This is a code. <clears throat> Meanwhile, while they get that one, we um, a gentleman <laughs> comes over and says, oh, Excuse me, you don't mind if I take care of this pachero, do you? Uh, and he looks at you. Wait a minute. Well, I think I know you. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, I find that highly unlikely. Do uh, curiosity is are we at a non uh, thingy moment? Because you're supposed to do all those. Uh, no. Uh, how did you do, by the way? Yeah. Uh, well, if if we're relaxed and we got plus twenty on the rolls. Oh, absolutely. All right, wicked sick. So uh, Lucas succeeded all of his with Excellent. ten successes overall. Excellent. Um, Very good. I uh, did a five crit. And oh, then nice. Five successes and then two successes. Oh, well, well, yeah, yeah, you're totally on top of it. Lads, 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 you can handle <laughs> their drink. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as he says, uh, aren't you um, the doctor that did the lecture over at Null University? He says, Dr. Um, uh, Hauselina? Hauselina, was it? Um, uh, I'm very interested in what you have to say regarding how the... Uh, 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 the internal nature of the appendix actually leads through to magical capability. Well, uh, yes. So right now, uh, I'm I'm afraid I'm I'm off the clock, as it were. So oh, really, it's not damn. yes, not really for discussion. Um, but but I'm pleased that that my lecture well made an impact on you. This is but very least shake your hand. Then no, I shall leave. Because that would be very nice. Just to say that I've at least met you. Yeah. No. Fine. Uh, here you go. Just. Give me the money! Oh, and he backs hell. off and he just scarpers. And your hand burns slightly. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit. Now everyone Can turns round. Right for one minute? <laughs> your hand goes purple. Uh, <laughs> of course it does. And apparently for someone who wants the money, he just did a runner. He did just did a runner. Lewis. Uh, um, he says, oh, excuse me. Passes you a clock. Right, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll take the other one too. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, uh, that was a bit blunt. That was rather really, showy. Uh, yeah, it's very strange. And like, does, is everybody else reacting? Um, uh, that they, they're all... in a pub. Someone shouted something crazy. Nothing else is happening. They've already got bored of that, and they're back already. to drinking again. Do we hear that? Though? Um, yes, you'll hear that. That'll be something for you to return to. Well, I mean, but are we also aware of the guy running away? Yeah, do your self-perception test. Uh, five successes. No. Then he gets away. Moves out. I have nine successes. Lucas, do anything on that? Um, oh, he can follow his, with his eyes, I suppose, but... Aye. Perception test, everyone. Pardon? I. I, I, yes, I. I, I. <laughs> How many has he got? Uh, pardon? Your chap? Uh, nine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh! oh! Is that oh! Right? Oh! a crit? Oh! Maybe. Or is it a fumble? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's a crit, baby! Oh! 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 Roll again, see how many successes you oh, get. Yeah. How many has he got so far? Five. Five. <laughs> it, it doesn't count as a fumble if it's on the second no, after crit, right? It then, that's good. good. That's, 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 that's good, good total. it's an 88. Which, okay, means, yeah. which means that he'll get away because you... Oh, 88. Oh. <laughs> Nah, fuck it, I'm doing something on that one. Um, <laughs> roll it, you can't not on an AGA. But it's on the... It's on the, it's on the I know, I'm I'm so do, yourself, yourself, do yourself a D100 roll, Can please. you fortune point that second roll? Yeah, no. This is far too much fun. Brutal. 72. 72, good. <laughs> um, oh, right. Uh, very interesting. Um, but because it was on a crit, it won't be applied to you. Um, 
and we apply to the other party. Uh, <laughs> oh. 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 Is there suddenly an eerie glow? <laughs> so he will get away, as in he'll dart through because he got number of successes, yeah, but yeah. the crit means that you get some important details um, right. from the person who is leaving. Excellent. Um, and number one, his shoes. As um, he says, that fellow, did you see his shoes? <coughs> Um, no, Lucas, I was looking at the burning hand. They were extraordinarily expensive. Oh, good. And that, 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 that's not the sort of shoes you'd expect for someone wearing the clothes he was wearing. I think it was a very rough and ready disguise. <clears throat> also, uh, I mean, I don't need to say it, but it's relatively obvious. Uh, he had himself one of those hums on his uh, ankle. You know. Oh, yes. Yep, thank you. Well, so, well spotted. Um, y- yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly the most physical man, so it's not like I'm going to be going after him or anything. His father bouncing forward. Oh, no, he is. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Blind man, coming through. <laughs> stick, Away. stick, 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 stick. <laughs> Out towards the front. I'm my ah. own dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like Birdie, um, popping in along afterwards. <laughs> Sadly, no. Uh, Can I listen? Yes, yes. For him. For See his expensive hear. shoes. Yeah, if we, if we hear his footfall. You can hear the sound of a horse. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> that might explain how he got away so quickly. Into a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Magic! He's a centaur! <laughs> <laughs> Why he had such expensive shoes to hide his hooves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big, they must have been huge. <laughs> <laughs> One giant shoe around his waist. <laughs> right, stupidness oh. aside. Um, uh, that doesn't look so good. Um, uh, I have a feeling uh, also he, he was rather panicked. Did you not get that? I think um, he was somewhat scared of you. I think, it, did you not see his eyes? He was, a, he was, and he was about to say something, but he just panicked, blurted something and ran. Uh, honestly, that entire altercation was just so bizarre that I don't really know what to think about it. But if that is what you've got from it, Lucas... That's what I, I think, anyway. I trust you and your, your perceptions and your observations. I have an eye. You do. And, uh, <laughs> and a gun. So, next time... Hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's somewhat illegal, sir. No, 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 no. Shoot him in the leg. <laughs> that, that's also illegal, sir. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and it's not a matter of black and white, death, no death. There's, there's various grades in between, my lord, which are also illegal, 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 not harming him. <laughs> Accidental. These things go off. I have <laughs> often accidentally fired my pistol in the back of someone. <laughs> Just to, uh, Under the thing. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I think I need one of those. Perhaps I could get one of those holsters that have a hole in the bottom so I can. Mm, quick release. Although I don't think that's going to work for the top. The whole gun would just be... It's not going to work. Doesn't matter. Um, uh, so, the father's coming back. Yeah, okay. We weren't <laughs> talking about shooting people. <laughs> Good. Good. We should probably go now. Well, uh, should we? What was, uh, what was that? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, a gentleman came up, pretended that he knew me from Null. I carried S- on. Slightly quiet about that. Um, um, all right, there. He, he, um, he shook my hand. It's turned purple. Yeah, that. That that, that was. I, I was ineffectually attempting to say. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's not. Good. I think perhaps it would be wise for us to go because that clearly means we've been spotted. Well, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He must have had a horse outside because. Okay. Perhaps we were good spotted tonight. earlier. However, us leaving immediately after an altercation like that looks worse. So if we pretend. To whom? Other people who may be in the room. Pardon me. To whom? I feel very ill. <laughs> um, so if we stay for so we another drink, finish our, pretend, we finish these ones. Yep. Yeah. pretend that the smile fine. That is not so bad. Exactly. <laughs> and then we'll leave because we wish to leave, not because. I'm fine. That's so back in the barge. What's your plans? Well, we're talking about the coat. Is it just mm. that? Is it so simple as that? Yeah, it just says purple. Just it, says purple. They said why was there too early? Maybe if we quickly go back, we can like we inter. Can watch, you yeah. Do you, do, you do, do you think you're, I'm going to do my thing? Do the thing. I, I'll just stay here. Yeah, it's fine. You won't see me. <laughs> well, I can do that on the barge no, and then we'll see. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> 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 I will reroll that. Um, so while she's rerolling, you're making your way back. It's uh, not the largest town. It's easy enough to get up to the main square, down from the main square, down towards the uh, docks, the, then back the way over towards where the barge is. Have you shot at night? Ah, uh, yes. It's not that big a town. No. 
Big-ish. I mean, it's a few thousand living here. Yeah. Can we track him? Well, no, on, on, that, street test case. on that perception check, because I forgot Good to roll, because it doubled again, because technically it's a crit, right? Yeah. On the 88. So overall, just so we know what it is overall, it's... I, I numbers don't make any sense anymore. What's going Super on? Super numerate. Eight, five, eight. Uh, thirteen plus another four. But the eight was a fail. Is it still a fail? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So you're going to re-roll again. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're going to re-roll again if you uh, crit again. Sure. Um, our way of doing crits. Chat to me on Discord if you want to know more. Fastest way of doing it. So I fail. You completely fail, but you're not so sure about that. The pair of you wander off, thinking they ain't seen you, right? As <laughs> Ronald <laughs> slips into the night, are you going with him? No, no. But <laughs> you can see us. <laughs> but but Alamenoith doesn't doesn't know. Like Alamenoith doesn't chill when Yumi does. She still tries to hide. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Um, so does Yumi. Yeah. Um, they, 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 they go, well, they just try, well, no, Yumi doesn't. Yumi she just doesn't. walks on <laughs> through. Um, and uh, you'll end up split up if you end up like dodging from court cover to cover, if you see what I mean. It'll be a very well, odd way. Well, we should, there are people around, right? Yeah. So if they look at us, then we know that usually. No. No, because um, most people just wander by. And when you're under, you ain't seen me right. They often look at you. It's just they oh, don't okay. pay attention. Okay, they cool. look at so you just... and they wander by. They look at you and they wander by. Often they look at their people all the time. It's only when it's broken, because, boo, I'm here, that uh, people then go, oh, wait a minute, there's someone there. Okay. Um, but you'll so... probably still be selfie. I, we've split up before whilst we've been. Yeah, quite. Mm. Uh, so you're making your way back over towards the... Back of the... The back, good, of the guild hall. Good, mm -hmm. right, right the back hall. You're still on the ship when these three arrive... Got her has gloves on now. Uh, those they guys don't... who are after us are here as well, or at least the <laughs> subsidiary of them are here. Show me your hand. Um, just write down. Freak out. <laughs> right. Um, Arm of his hand is most definitely stained purple. Uh, the doctor maybe could have a look at that. Is it uh, magical? Uh, do yourself a perception test, please. Perception. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good. Bad. Fortune point. <laughs> Top ten. Fortune point. <laughs> try a fortune point. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> oh well. No. Uh, I'll, I'll see the doctor. She'll probably you know what this is. Creep your way along, and you're at the back, um, and you can hear them before you even get there. Do you want to? Stand exactly what you're in for. I'm telling you already what we have already done. We ain't giving you more than 15%. You ain't giving us nothing yet. Well, I'm our 15% recognized by you. Oh, uh, no, you ain't giving me nothing yet. Yes, I, you ain't getting more from us. You hear an increasingly irate fellow saying. <laughs> yeah. well, what are the pair you doing? I mean, mean, I've literally just done that to you. <laughs> I mean, Yuma is not hiding, unfortunately, so she's just standing there. <laughs> she's gonna wander around. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably spot her before he does if he's facing away. But... Um, yeah, no, he's facing away, so you won't spot her at all. Um, so you're sticking your head around to see what's um, going on. Yeah. As um, uh, I'm going to do a percentage test, he's somewhat right. He might not spot you. 99, he's really <laughs> irate. Also, he doesn't, also... but there are two Can you others. Have alley cut? Uh, no, I just have shadow. Oh, okay. Because Alamenoid's got alley oh, cut, so they don't get a perception. When, when she's stealthing up, but she's not really stealthing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah no. totally. Um, a Astonishingly, none of them see you, which which is just a failure on their behalf. Um, as uh, the, look, the, listen, you, the other fellow who you can see from behind, it was certainly a man um, with hair sitting to his shoulders. He's dressed rather scrubbily, like he may come from the street. A big pair of boots that goes up to his knees. They're a bit muddy and dirty, like he's been trolling his way through the shallows of water. Uh, from the back, his hair looks. It's dark. It's already relatively dark. It's difficult to pick out hair color. You can pick out hair color. Your elven eyes. Um, <laughs> dark brown. Um, <laughs> oh, exciting! <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, interestingly, supporting the uh, purple line, he's got himself around his waist a uh, scarf, which is just hanging off there, which is a deep, dirty purple. Um, and he is gesticulating somewhat wildly as one of his fists begin to curl into an actual fist and he starts waving it. You don't understand, I need the money and I need it tonight. If we weren't going to get it tonight anyway, he says, we were just consolidating the deal and I gave you 15%. It does feel a little bit bad. <laughs> <clears throat> You see him. He's got a really good shot to his back. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, cultists. The cultists. I'm just saying murder. I'm sorry, no, murder's bad. <laughs> I can't believe I mentioned just that. Premeditated self defense. <laughs> yeah. Murder them all. <laughs> well, while they're um, figuring all that out, back on the barge, what are you doing? Uh, she probably straight. Oh, she does take her bow. <laughs> oh, marvelous! And start Greta is away. um puffing away in her pipe. Says they're chasing cultists. At the moment. You have no time right now, Greta. Where's the doctor? The doctor. <laughs> yes, the chasing cultists. Yes, right. the chasing cultists. Which way? Uh, did I was they trying come? to say it until you showed me that. But yeah, uh, Yume and Alamenoite are potentially looking for these two guys. Just the place that we were. The the bad in the fake in. Right. Should we maybe Guildhall? I think it is. Right. Should, should we maybe go into the vicinity so we can hear if there's trouble? Well, we should probably get him seen to first. Yeah. Shall, shall we take the dog for a walk? Yeah. You stay here. <clears throat> All right. We'll go. Okay, Down so. below. Yep. She looks at it. Yeah. What have you done? Uh, well, uh, I. It looks like some sort of dye. Oh, okay. Fine. Um... Have you tried washing it off? Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I've not. I would suggest that would be your first port of call. <laughs> your diagnosis was quite impressive, Gerhard. <laughs> God, I'm not bright. <laughs> it did not burn. Well, yeah, it did. But it did. I, 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 you yeah. haven't mentioned the word burn to anyone yet. Oh, um, mm. it, it burned. Oh, as it went on? Yes. Mm, it might not come off easily then. Uh, how's what sort of burn, would you say? If you were to use a single adjective to describe it. Ouchie. <laughs> what single adjective would it be? Um, um, a deep. It was like it went right in. It, it felt right. It, it, it was like right in the yeah, hand. It felt it. almost to your bones. Uh, in, in invasive. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound like a die at all. Have you shown it to Master Elric? I have, yes. And what was his opinion? He had no idea what it was. Well, he purple hand. He said uh, it's purple hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a purple hand, that much is certain. <clears throat> well, let's see if it reacts to anything. Other than your skin reacting slightly to some things, it partly doesn't, but she tries some various chemicals from um, her kit. Um, she's like, well, it's not coming off. Look, if we try the swab. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can we take this as, as a point of learning, as I am learning this? <laughs> Actually, yes. yes. Let's go through the chemicals and watch each one does. Good stuff. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day's 20 minutes done. <laughs> so you're just sitting there at the back watching them argue. Uh, and then that is very successful. All three of their heads explode in purple fire tinged with red and green. You fuckers. Who does that? The one with his head back to you. Done with this, and he turns around and sees you. Oh dear! Off oh, back! <laughs> oh. As he goes for another spell. Rot roll. Oh, you are there and can attempt to dispel. I, I have, shall. I have enough successes to cast my spell. I have a crit. Yes. 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 You say you're the best. <laughs> Twenty-two. Yeah, just for a Damn it! <laughs> and I also Whoa. have my bow out, by the way. A swirl of blue and pink fire tumbles out of his fingertips. His fingertips are broken into little mouths. Fuck this guy. Um, each one squealing in size as it goes, as you very quickly dart, 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 shadowy magic across it, completely disrupting the fire that spirals off in different directions. You got a crit! 
I'm gonna let you take an action if you wish. Shoot him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. ah, take that, you fucker! Love it. Um, yeah, thirty-four. Oh, uh, that will be thirty-four because you'll be reversing a uh, success. Um, so you can't reverse any worse than that. Cold shot straight to the mouth. Um, four, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. <laughs> Ah, right out the side of his mouth, through his cheek. And following up with a, a, a like, throwing knife <laughs> and going That's for his throat. A different action. Um, uh, but, like, literally, wah, actually shoots wah, his throat. Do you have any uh, type of talent to allow you to uh, avoid surprise? No. Because you are a little bit surprised. Um, no. Particularly with the big rainbow of colour in front of you <laughs> as you're just sitting there looking at fire none of which quite hits you like somehow you're magic wow you're somehow magic you're completely indestructible can I have a perception uh, test uh, and any chance I with my cute hearing might have heard him yell those magic yes, words yes you can do a perception test so roll the fumble but I'm going to well point done point <laughs> good start <laughs> already me down today. <laughs> they really are Okay, successful. Okay, you sense the movement of magic. You don't know which wind, you're not aware mm-hmm. of what is. You just sense a relatively strong swirling Seven of successes. the winds of magic. Um, sadly, in the direction where you know folks have just gone. Yeah. So that might move you to knock things over. Gladly not an open bottle. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> that might make you move. Uh, Yumi's on a um, Unless off some round. kind of holy vision is... That is it, not going to help. No, I've got seven successes. <laughs> Superb. Yes, you'll hear that. Birdie, where are you? I'm with him. We're yeah. not, we're yeah. okay. Pegging on the way. I'm following him. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Oh, those are we, we need to move. There's someone casting magic. I mean, we, we'd already left. They, they already yeah, they I have an intelligence test. Yeah. 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 Intelligence. Intelligence test. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. four. <laughs> Just intelligence. Uh, six successes. Um, Congratulations. You've done really rather well there. She says... Very good. Learning. And while he's learning... (laughs) (laughs) Ah, my man and wife, what's your plan? Um, You are ahead of him. You can do the first shot. She's charging at him because she's really close. Oh, yeah, yeah. She can just dart around straight in. um, And taking her uh, daggers and just like trying to go for his throat and his face and his mouth. Love it. If you want to do that, we reverse in a success if you're going for a cold shot to his head. Um, I'm just doing normal. (laughs) Oh, done well. Um, I got minus three. Still three fails. Success. Have you got a success? Yep. Oh, superb. Straight to the throat. Nice. Um, Love it. It's and only eight damage with her dagger. But... So eight. Uh, 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 what did you roll for your successes? Because um, I got minus three. Oh, oh, reverse successes. Yes. So two. So two. Okay, so that means you won by five. So add five yeah. to that. So oh, that's 13 okay. damage. Right. 13 okay, damage. minus his toughness. Uh, and that's him down Just as you go cut straight into his throat, off to the side. It slices in, opens up that entire chunk of his throat. You've caught his windpipe, broken that one. Nicely done. Um, as he doesn't howl. Instead, he gurgles blood filled with bubbly air to his mouth. And, and it, Nicely is done. He able to actually, is he now just... Shocked. Well, you'll find out. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty convinced he didn't expect to have a knife through his throat. Um, People rarely do. <laughs> as the pair of you hike it round, it's going to take a full round to yourself, um, both of you, an athletics test to see how fast we are moving. Albert with them, so. Excellent. You both two, as you may, you may now act. I will do a blessing of protection for myself. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Uh, which, yes, succeeds. Great. Yes. Let's get your protection up. So they have to do a willpower test to target you. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Uh, Excellent. As you uh, whisper personals, a little bit like you ain't seen me right, but it's more like, <coughs> don't hit me. Um, <laughs> 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 Over um, with Gerhardt, um, as she says, well, I think we can safely conclude that that is not a typical die. Yes. Very it's so. far too deep, and if you're willing to cut yourself, we'll be able to find out how deep. Mm. I have a steady hand. No, I know you do. Um... Bring me your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you're willing to cut yourself. Um, and it slices open, and it is not good. It's purple right down. Oh, no. Oh. It's purple all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> As um, the blood comes out, purple. Oh, God. Oh, Fuck. God. And she looks at her and says, I think we need Elric. Mm, good to know, good to know. 
And she says, let's sew that All up. Right. Thank you. Um, clean it up. <laughs> Pours on some chemicals. That's things like, well, a stingy thing. Yep. And then out it comes. Do your endurance test. <laughs> Meanwhile, with everyone else, you'll be arriving at the start of uh, this round. At the top of the round is Alamenoi. You gotta go again because the poor guy yeah, she's was going a little bit surprised. Literally, like absolutely mad, fall. absolutely <laughs> mad. <on her. laughs> like, like, do you remember the description yesterday that um, Greta gave me? She's doing that. I have no idea what you're no talking weapon. about. You need to describe it if you're doing it. So you just leap your order. Ah! Weapon skill test. He is curtailed on his reversing his successes. I think you may have shocked us all. Yeah, <laughs> so I I I I've done relatively well. I'm I've not got advantage, out. right? Yes. Um, seven successes. Seven successes. Well, you win plus five on your damage, please. You got eight, plus eight, seven, did you say? So that's 13, 15. 18. Ooh! As um, you're down, and. Ah, 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 as the chest is plunged into once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six <laughs> times, her ma- face Go for is a mask <laughs> of anger and ah, blood, bone, heart, lung, mess, is he dead? caved in. <laughs> um, is there any up in purple? <laughs> his face looks a bit like this. <laughs> He also bleeds slightly from the neck. <laughs> as you come round the corner to see that. We need to work on your technique. Three exploded heads. What did Bodies you do? over there. Blood splashed up against the wall. I, I relay all this to the father. It's like... Who's... Yeah. I, I mean... What? <laughs> as Elric arrives. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he would see her. I, I don't think that she exploded the heads. And I'll, as, as he's dead, she'll just get up. <laughs> blood all over her front. Yeah. Leopold will try to listen in case there's anybody like nearby hiding around the corner. Or... Uh, yes, there is, and they're running. You can hear them um, running. And do a roll. perception test. Uh, one uh, success, but or two if it's too Five foos, five foos. Far too quiet for them to catch. Someone's called the watch. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Back to the barge. Just yeah. leave them. They killed each other. I'll put my. Dagger in one of the hands of the exploded head guys. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, they don't have much forensics. Put your, put your uh, cloak over her because anybody who sees her, yeah. there's yeah. all blood all over her face, down her front, over her arms, okay. her hands. She it will literally be caught red-handed. Just, just she could me. not be just, more guilty just looking if you try. She'll let go into a ball and just let you wrap it. She's not very heavy. Um, no, she's quite heavy. Well. Um, elves are as dense. heavy as humans. They're pretty dense. I'll tell you how heavy she is. Oh, oh, oh. She's 73 kilograms. Okay, she's, she's not that heavy, she's actually. Not she's that she's heavy. relatively she's heavy. heavy. Yeah, she's, she's sort of like, I mean, cars than me. But for a yeah. six foot five person, um, yeah, 73 totally. kilograms. So I, I can yeah. carry you, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She pulls up nicely. Yeah, she pulls up nicely and has to walk on that side. That was really inefficient and you really need to think more about getting to the point rather than making all that mess. We'll talk about it later. Technique. Mm. Are you doing any blessings to pull them out of it? Clearly she broke that particular blessing. Everyone saw that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Yume is too shocked. <laughs> 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 Staggering in the background. Yeah, no. yeah, I think like Leopold will like put his arm round him and just <clears throat> weirdly guide her even though he's blind. Back at the barge, Greta is still smoking up in the top. Gerhardt is probably pacing a bit and looking a little bit um, unsure. Greta isn't saying anything. Clearly, Gerhardt does not want to be talked to right now. He's very much got that look in his face, and she's got enough awareness not to immediately go, oh, 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 should we have a chat? Um, hand probably bandaged up. Um, but with a loose bandage so you can show it to Elric afterwards and then just unwind it. Yeah, and yeah. it's been... Yeah, it's all yeah. sold up. So. A little voice comes from oh, inside uh, the bundle. Oh, I passed that endurance test as well, by the way. Super, no need to scream out. A, a little voice comes from inside the bundle. Dunk me. <laughs> <laughs> no one dunks an elf. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's what she wants. <laughs> Someone else that. Chuck her in the river. <laughs> no, I won't chuck her. I'll... Like, can we do it over the other side of yeah. the bar? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah you're drop down there. The watch are quite some distance away. They're not yeah. even sure where they're going yet. Yeah. It takes them a good 10 minutes to actually arrive to where they should be. You are long gone. Hopefully. Uh, Alric will take a look at your 
hand again. Oh, yes, if you could. Thank you. Because I imagine I need uh, You might want to explain to him exactly what the issue is. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, that's true. Um, Elric, I think I need your assistance here. Um, well, we've done... We've basically gone down most usual routes as far as, you know, doctoring goes. Um, Flaster recommends it might be somewhat magical. It might be some kind of magical Yes, nature. if you could have a look. Knowing that would our kind of focus more? Um, yeah, I think it's also likely that uh, you might think it's a spell. If it's yeah. a spell, you might be able to dispel it, um, try to remove it. That would be a language magic test needing to defeat their number of successes um, on their particular casting. Yeah. Um, so that would be an immediate I mean, first response. stressed, right? Yeah, so, no, 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 not yeah. at all. He can take his time. Um, he can have a look through his grimoire, see what the best dispelling option would be. Um, and uh, then... Oh! No. Is my camera down? Yeah. Yeah, we lost it a while back. Oh, did we? Can they even hear me? They can yeah, hear they can you. hear you. Yeah. Uh, Marvellous. Well, I think yeah. so. Um, yeah, that's pretty depressing. You. I apologise. Oh, Aaron's put <laughs> it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Faces! Um, you don't get to see all my stuff. I'm looking at the camera and nothing's happening. That's <laughs> deeply it's only annoying. Been, it's only been like three or four minutes. Oh, okay. So we're, so okay. Well, we're almost at the, the end. Bit, anyway. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I know of one way... Um, you have a bone saw in your kit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just but I can I can try and um, see if there's anything to magical relate. Oh my god! <laughs> Father, Roaming. Um, yeah. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, um, Father, four successes. Can you get past? Four successes for what? No, I'm too busy dancing. It's a spell. Uh, four successes. Not enough. Um, you can sense it, have and by the very uh, no. Um, if you were the same college, I might have let yep. that off. Um, you can sense it, um, retreating slightly and in. Um, uh, you try to pick apart at it, you can't, you're not sure what to do with this. This is slightly beyond your ken. You don't, what you are quite relatively convinced by is that it's probably got a relatively, relatively short duration, but by relatively, that could be weeks, months. Mm -hmm. Are you now GMing from here? Is yeah, totally down, look at me. Okay. Father, father, would it be worth you or, or someone else... Please stop. <laughs> would it be worth you or someone else um, reputable just wandering out to see what the commotion was and perhaps then telling the Fifers what you heard? The argument between the man and the other men? Yeah. And, I mean, maybe if someone else came with me as well, who, who has eyes... They could give him a description of the fellow that we saw in the inn as Lucas, running away Lucas from it. Would Lucas would be the best one. Yeah. This is currently Well, just then we can also yeah, what, frame what? another cultist for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, that doesn't seem like a bad... Unless he happens to be... Well, I unless don't... he was the same person. Did you see his face? Uh, he you... had lot dark Lucas brown hair. In. Uh, there is also obviously the problem that he might be a known quantity exactly. in the area. Mm. I don't think we should do that. I think we just keep it simple. We yeah. heard them arguing. No. No. No, because then we're associated with it. Oh, so we just stay here. We we leave it. And if someone here. comes to us, we can then drop right. it off in them. Um, I did find something out as well oh. that is quite important, which, now um, <laughs> which is the, the dwarfs who sold their mines, they sold it to Italka Hudson. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good All job. Right. So it's likely that the ritual, whatever it is, will be in there. Yeah. That's where she's likely to be. All she right. some does sometimes come to town. She's apparently a noble. Perhaps. Mm. Father. Annoyingly, it appears that usually we are. Or they are. Father, mm. perhaps you should speak to the dwarves and see if you can find out anything about the circumstances of the sale, etc. Uh, absolutely. I do not think I would be welcome there. No, I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. I have to go and see if I can help them. They've been swindled by a them. I've got it. And it does not sound like they are in a good state. It is rare for dwarves to be unclean. Yeah. Mm. And we don't know that they're the unclean. Mm. We don't know that they're unclean. We, they know might that, be, we know that the people in the town say they're unclean, but that might just be prejudice, as you know. I, yeah, I do know that very well. They also might just be striking out into a different venture. Tannering, for example. We're going yeah. to smell the piss if we do that. Oh, well, that's a good mm. point, Graham. Yeah. Mm. That might come in handy. Very good actually. point. Sounds like a plan. Does anyone want to swap initiative with me? I feel like there's a, a spectre on the <laughs> The spirits are restless! <laughs> um, I think that's probably a good place, given that that's the end of the evening. We can start off the next day with a visit over to the Stinky Dwarves, and then as I turn around and say, I think, without camera, it's probably a good point to say, 
And that is the end of the Fallen Hold. Which they'll learn more about next time. <laughs> which won't be next week, because next week is our week off as we go and do things like recover from being ill for like the last 19 years, which is what I feel like I've been doing. Uh, and instead post all of the Uber's Wreck adventures, which they were happily discussing for ages this morning. You will learn a bit more about that. So until then, two weeks time. Bye-bye. <laughs>